Welcome, my friends. Today we're back with our Carl Franz campaign, episode four. We will not stand idle. Today we will crush the foes of the Empire, drive them into the ground, and the Empire shall endure. So welcome, guys. Pleasure to see some familiar faces, some new faces. It's going to be a great time. So a bit of a recap about the last episode. Pretty much the last episode was just kind of capping off the Vampire Wars, and for the most part, we've been just getting rid of the uh, corruption in our uh, Sylvania province here. So you can see here in eastern Sylvania, the corruption is pretty much gone. I mean, there's still a little bit, 42%, but we do have really good Untainted here because we do, of course, have the uh, Shrine of Sigmar. So here, we're getting plus six Untainted, and we're also running the, uh, what is it called, the uh, Sigmarite dog uh, Dogma to get the Untainted there. So in this province, we're doing pretty good. We're about to get rid of the corruption. It's a little bit rough over in Castle Templehof here. I basically have had to keep an army here for quite some time because there's just going to be chain rebellions, and it's due to the corruption. If you look at the public order, it's negative 10 there, and uh, it should be getting better soon. We do have a witch hunter here. We also have an army here, so the uh, untainted, let's go ahead and actually take a look. It's going to be, yeah, 11 against 3, so it should be pretty quick. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Marienburg's going to be coming back this episode probably. So basically what's going to happen is, is we're going to secure this province here. We will be confederating most likely with these guys because we denied a confederation, I believe, yeah, like on turn 43 or 44, give or take. And basically they re-offer it in 20 turns. So we're going to be taking uh, this territory here, which will be nice. It's, it's a full province and obviously it probably has some pretty good economic infrastructure we can upgrade. So quite happy about that. Carl Franz will be heading back this general direction here. Italian Spartacus, uh, the Elector Count of, uh, I believe he's the Elector Count up here of, uh, what is this? What is this region called? I always get it. I always get it wrong. Yes, of uh, Talabek land. Yes. So he's going to be kind of hanging out in these territories, just making sure no vampires come in. And if there are any orc threats from the mountains, he will be nearby to take care of that. So we'll be going out west with uh, Karl Franz. And from there, we'll probably go up and take out Marienburg and, you know, return it to uh, Boris. Because Boris pretty much hates us. So, uh, I don't know why. You know, he's just such a troll. I mean, he's just too failty this entire time. So basically, we want to get this territory and give it back to Boris. And, uh, you know, it'll be pretty good, too. I mean, wh whichever ones belong to him. I believe the wastelands we could just take for ourselves, like these areas up here. And eventually, we may have to go to war with Bretonia just to kind of get these back. But I'd rather not. But, you know, civil wars do happen. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's kind of the game plan there. We may eventually go down to the south and fight the orcs. Our dwarven allies, our, our brothers in the south here, are fighting pretty hard. You can see Thorgrim has a pretty good little juicy stack. He's got iron breakers, hammers. He should be able to deal with the greenskins, I would imagine. Although, yeah, the greenskins apparently have a pretty good power rating. If we go ahead and look right here, they're uh, strength rank six. And we're 10, so they probably have a couple full stacks lurking somewhere in the shadows. Also, on top of that, guys, we're going to be uh, fighting Galmaraz. So we're going to be doing the Galmaraz quest battle, which should be quite a bit of fun as well. That's going to be next on the agenda. And, uh, hey, Turin, the beta reverted the nerf of ports. Is that affecting your game? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know if it's been affected yet. But let's go and take a look here. No, it looks like it's still the same. It's just... Yeah. And in Altdorf, we're going to be building the uh, Imperial Palace, which gives plus two public order to your entire faction, plus tax rates. So that's quite nice. It does cost 10000 but that is on our agenda. That's pretty much a recap, though. Like I said, Karl Franz went up north and took out the orc threat over here because we wanted to get the Galmraz quest line. Uh, we, I don't believe we can teleport there quite yet. I think we have to wait till next turn. So we pretty much used all our actions here. This Witch Hunter is going to be helping to cleanse the corruption here from these territories. So let's go ahead and pass that. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Spartacus is going to be holding... Eldorf's good, but I think Marienburg needs to be returned, but it's not a terribly exciting, you know, adventure. So I'm wondering if we should just send the Elector Count Spartacus out there to deal with it, but that's something we'll think about in the next turn. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit early. I mean, my campaign streams have been starting at like 10 or 11, so this one's pretty standard stuff, but we will be getting our confederation. As far as our public uh, or our imperial authority, we're pretty good. We're plus three. So even if we confederate, it's not really going to give us huge penalties, which is nice. So, uh, so yeah, I think everything's pretty cozy. Everything is quite cozy and happy. The Empire has been enduring so far. No huge threats. I mean, chaos will be coming relatively soon in the next, like, 40 turns, if I'm not mistaken. So we definitely want to kind of unite the Empire here before that happens so we can uh, fend them off. Karl Franz should be able to handle them pretty well. He does have the Temple off Luminar to snipe their lords. He's got great swords that are nice and upgraded. And the Greenskins uh, could be a threat. Not really sure what to expect from those guys. Not terribly concerned. But uh, I feel like our armies are going to be so good against the Greenskins. Wish you could give Dawi holds back to them. Yeah, that'd be I think that'd be pretty cool. It's like improve your relations with them. Like maybe it just gives you like, uh, you know, plus like 20 or plus 50, whatever. I don't know, whatever they decide is fair. But yeah, Carl could use the Imperial Dragon. That would be pretty heavy metal. And isn't that what he rode in the end times anyways? My income is pretty good. It's at I have like two full stacks with pretty good units and my income is still like 5,500. So... Uh, and somebody in chat was asking, I'm, the difficulty for this campaign is very hard. That's what we're doing, so. 
I mean, usually like I'm not the best at, you know, general campaign trickery and like gaming the system, but I'm pretty good at battles, so I can usually make up for it in that respect. Granted, I'm, I'm getting more used to campaign. This is getting me back into it for sure. Trial by fire. Trial by fire. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see how I can lose this campaign. I mean, maybe. It's hard to say. All right. Oh, the Golden Order wants it. So that's Balthazar Gelt. The Golden Order doesn't really have much down there. We could say no to Gelt for now, but you know what? Let's just take it because I want the uh, I, want the, I want the steam tank. Uh, Sir Chewy, do it turn, do it. Hammer the enemies of Sigmar's Holy Empire like the nails they are. I will, brother, 100%. <laughs> Thank you for that, dinner. very generous donation. All right, so. You know what? I feel like it's time we start bringing the crew back together. So I'm going to say yes, because I want to make Balthazar Gelt. You know, I want to get an army with Gelt. Azel, thank you for becoming a member on the channel. Much appreciated. So do you guys think that I should... Oh, man. Because I'm about to get it up here. And negative six will put me in the danger zone. But that's probably okay, because there's not going to be that many other Elector Counts after that. Oh, man. Okay, so I think we're going to take it. Screw it. The bro handshake calls. Oh, Volkmar the Grim is available. So now you can see our, our Imperial Authority has gone down to uh, zero, which is fine. But now we have a whole new territory here. So we have to kind of manage the armies to see what we want to keep. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, uh, well, he's, oh man, he's got a lot of like random ass characters and about the Balthazar Gelt is wounded. How did that even happen? All right. So there's a janky little army here. He does have the, uh, the spearmen. All right. So we definitely don't need this force. So let's go ahead and disband this. All right. Thank you guys. We'll see you. We'll see you around. It looks like he has an army down here that is like just... Oh my god, Balthazar Kelt's like crusading in the Southlands here. You know, this army's actually not bad. I might want to keep this. Let's go ahead and see how he's been building this wizard. Oh, not bad. Look at that. Spirit Leech and Soul Bite. That's a pretty good run. And then we have a level 7 warrior priest here who's got some... Uh... Okay. Honestly, I've seen much worse investments in tech trees. We may keep this guy for now because it is going to be nice to have a little bit of a presence down here. But I'm not sure why he's down here in the first place. Okay. So Fort Sol, he's got a bunch of like random empire captains just like running around. Carrick Buftar, what? What are you doing down here, dude? <laughs> just stealing the dwarves' territory? All right, so uh, yeah, lumber mill's fine. Public order isn't really going to be an issue here. I guess it could actually because there's corruption. So we could just let the AI take that. I don't think we need all these empire captains because their upkeep is it does add up. It's it's quite expensive. So look, there's just like random trolls everywhere. So basically, this is like the upkeep portion of the campaign where we have to like go and just get rid of all these like random agents they have everywhere. Like, what What are you doing? Why is this? Why is Gelt just have random territories all over the place? <laughs> like, he's just like, oh man, we don't need witch hunters. We want our economy back. So our economy is slowly starting to come back. So basically, we've just taken on this Balthazar Gelt like Haggard stack here. Balthazar Gelt is wounded, but let's go ahead and make sure he is the Elector Count. So basically the next thing you want to do once you get these like provinces is you want to basically go and optimize the buildings and make sure like everything is like is good and, and just not like ridiculous. So we have the gatehouse. We have the upgraded blacksmith. Do we have the tech for great swords? You know, that's okay to kind of keep there for now. We do have a unique building here, if I'm not mistaken. The wizard's conclave. We do not need this here, so we'll demolish that. And the unique building here, he hasn't even built it. Look at this. The Fildorf Wine Market. So this is a unique building, gives income from all buildings. Oh man, we gotta we gotta make this an economic province. All right, so we have that, which is fine. Uh, do we have a gatehouse here? We do not. So let's go ahead and make that like an upgraded gatehouse, which is fine. And everything else is okay for now. I mean, we can, we don't really need this building too much. We can keep the great sword tech just in case we're like in that region. Uh, here we have this. This is pretty good. It has a gatehouse. Geltlik had a really weird province. He just had like literally like this little haggard pocket. Gelt, Gelt is trolling the old world guys. And uh, now we can actually make... So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, Volkmar the Grim. Oh, you can't make Volkmar the Grim a candidate. He can't be an Elector Count. That's interesting. So Gelt, I would imagine, is the Elector Count down here. Is he? Oh. Well, okay, Gelt. Gelt, you should probably be the Elector Count of, uh, of Soland here. Okay, that's fine. Freaking Gelt. Gelt is the ultimate troll. All right, so this army's okay. I mean, it's it's really cheap. It's mostly just archers and like stuff like that. So, is there any way we can secure these provinces here? Because like this is just so janky. I mean, we could take out these guys, but.
but the border princes are kind of our homies. I don't really want to fight them, so. All right, so this army for now can just kind of... And then we have this too. It's just like, oh God, it's so foul. So we don't need like a random cab building here, nor do we need the barracks. So we're just going to destroy those and make economic buildings. So at least it'll help our income in some respect. Carrick Booftar down here, kind of in the same boat. The tap room is maybe going to help with public order. Although corruption here is eventually... Maybe we'll just let a rebellion take that city just because it's like, it's kind of out of the blue. This is a nice little port city. I mean, at least he's built economic buildings and most of the stuff. All right, guys. So the next mission here is we're going to be doing... Uh, I might actually have to... Uh, Spartacus is here. He's completing his uh, his sacred duty here. And uh, Galmaraz cost 800 to teleport. God damn it. That's so annoying. Okay, so in that case, we might have to actually just hold off on building walls here for a turn. Because I do want to do Galmaraz here. So let's go into regular stance. We've secured this area, which is nice because we do have a gold mine up in the hills here, which is very, very cool. Unfortunately, there's a dwarf keep here, which uh, keeps us from completing the province. Mustachio Man. Yeah, we'll recruit him, but I want to make Mustachio Man the Elector Count of uh, of Sylvania here. So, do we want to do we want to recruit Musta Mustache Man? It is going to hurt our upkeep. So for now, we'll we'll wait. We'll wait for now. As a matter of fact, we can bring this army up. I mean, is this army that good? I mean, having a Deathcaster here is pretty useful. That has a couple levels on him. And I mean, the, honestly, the way it invested in its tech tree is pretty good. So we'll we'll get the Death Wizard up back here. He's going to kind of head up here. Man, I, I think we really just don't need this army. I mean, the Greenskins might come and attack. Oh, man. They got pretty, pretty decent stats across the board. So I want to maybe get rid of that army and get Mustachio Man. But... Maybe we'll do some work with this army first. We'll like go attack some stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a shipwreck there. Okay, so guys, we're gonna do Galmaraz now. So the Galmaraz quest battle shall commence. Carl Franz shall teleport there. And do we need like movement to tell to this? No, not really. Okay. Here we go. It's time. It's time to get the warhammer. Well, this is gonna be lopsided. You guys want to hear the speech? Yeah, I'm probably not going to secure those southern territories because it's just a waste of time. So yeah, we'll we'll just build up build up economic infrastructure. But it's very cool that uh, the unique building here of Soland is is actually like a really good economic building. So we're just going to get make sure that everyone you know is getting the goodies there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be keeping those those places happy. Those southern reaches. All right, guys, it's time for the Carl Franz speech, and I feel like it's heresy to interrupt. So. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to unite, for the Orcs gather. Beyond the pass, a war boss draws to him all that is foul. An Orc horde beyond imagining. As Sigma thought, so shall we. We will become part of the legend. We will wipe the Orcs from our door. And only when this is done, when our nation has healed, shall I take up... Galmaraz for Sigma, for the Empire, for the Warhammer. Damn, prawn speeches are so good. Oh, it's so good. So basically, uh, somebody wanted to see Knights of More real quick, so I can show you. Here's the Knights of More right here. They are the uh, Sylvania ROR, basically, and they're pretty good. They cause terror, so that's super good against Greenskins, and they also make all nearby allies immune to psychology, which are uh, pretty much grim resolve. Very, very badass. So we have the Caribou Great Swords here in the front. We also have the Tatter Souls. They're going to be hanging out. We don't need to have like MLG deployment against the, uh, you know, the AI. So we're just going to kind of do a bit of a janky one here. Let me turn the speaker down so it doesn't echo for you guys. Full chop for Sigmar, dude. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. All right, Halberds be in reserve. Should be able to hold the back line. Franz is just going to go club some Greenskins. We have our Lifecaster, our our, our other wizard, other, other wizard, and. Uh, Knights of Moor, Knights of the Blazing Sun can ride in a goon squad, and then we'll have the Zintler Strikes Guard and the other Knights of the Blazing Sun riding over here. Temple of Luminarch, and the Mortar can be in six. I mean, do I even need to, like, worry about this battle? Don't I get, like, reinforcements from dwarves or something in this? Anyways, let's let's go ahead and see if we can snipe this guy out with the uh, the Temple of Luminarch. Fr Franz is just going to give that guy the dirty dirty, for sure. So let's go ahead and square up like this. Actually, we could just square up the whole army like that. That's fine. All right, so the Temple of Luminarch is going to be blasting this Orc War boss in the face. Hopefully, it'll make contact. And a boom. Ooh, that did some pretty good damage. Not going to complain. 
And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take our cav up the hill and just start hammering them. Because like, I don't think they have anything that can really stop us here. So let's go ahead and just intercept them. Uh, Carl Franz, we're not going to send him forward first because we don't want him to take like free fire from the Orc Arrow Boys. So these goblins are going to get tracked pretty good. That well, charge was a little bit weird, that charge animation. I felt like he should have made better contact here. All right, so these guys have come in. Let's go ahead and get these guys going as well. And the dwarves ride to the, ride to our aid. All right, so let's get the Temple of Luminar kind of moving so it doesn't like friendly fire the Franz. Move these guys up. Go, go, go. And uh, actually, let's do a little bit of a cross hatch engagement here. Bronze Helm of Discord, pop all the goodies. Handgunners are just going to open up. Just salvos of just brutal, brutal fire coming in here. All right, great. So, yeah, not really much we need to worry about. Franz should be able to just destroy that guy, like, horribly. And another cab up on the high ground have engaged here, so let's just smash these Night Goblins. And the mortars can shoot into the front. All right, Franz has dealt with that Orc War boss, which is nice. <laughs> the dwarves are like, do we even need to be here? Like, really? All right, great. So we have another little Orc Troll coming, so let's go ahead and shoot that guy if we can. Pull the Tatter Souls back. We want to keep our, you know, formations relatively tight here. Knights of Morn, Company of Terror out of the flank. You guys have crushed those Night Goblins, which is always fun. So let's go get those Doom Divers here. Actually, just sweep through the archers. Franz, you've done uh, you've done some great work. Oh, look at that little Brain Buster coming in here. So we're actually... Oh, shit. I don't have Earthblood yet on this guy. Okay, that's kind of annoying. All right, let's keep chasing. Let's keep chasing. Let's get the Cav kind of sweeping to kind of deal with these threats here. And you guys can kind of just come up the high ground and uh, yeah, do that. So it looks like we have a big old Spider coming. So let's get the Handgunners in position. We'll get the Great Sword Battle Lines kind of reformed here. And Franz is going to come in and just, just give this guy a good old, a good old walloping. Although it looks like he's already broken. Temple off Luminarch is just. Oh man, I totally forgot about it. It's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll get some knights over there to help out. Go Temple off Luminarch. Use use the net of Amatok to free yourself from this this these vile foes. Knights of the Blazing Sun and Company should be able to save it. Cool. Our ranks are reforming here. Dwarves are coming in, which is quite cool. Back line is in tatters for them. And uh, yeah, that's it for Sigmar, baby, all day. Get that handgunner fire. Franz can run from the spider because it's not necessary. The knights are coming back down. Knights are coming back down. The dwarves are making our formation a little bit, a little bit haggard, but that's fine. <laughs> More green skins. Let us purge the world of these brutes. I love it. It's so perfect. Great swords can charge up the hill. These knights in the back. Oh, okay, there's there's a lot of green skins back there now. So let's pull back those knights if we can. The spider should be pretty much done for now that Franz is here. Looks like another war boss has uh, come to join the join the party. Let's go ahead and reset these guys, and the Temple of Luminar can uh, just get ready to kind of shoot it. I mean, whatever, it doesn't really matter. All right, cool, our cab on the high ground have uh, pulled back, so let's pull these guys back down the hill a little bit. We can actually collapse in the back of these Orc Boys. That'll be good. And Franz coming in with the Helm of Discord, one of the best items in multiplayer as well. Handgun lines are reforming ranks, so when the Giants and company come down, we'll be able to get some uh, good line of sight. Good, good, Anakin. We've crumped them, so let's pull those guys back up. These Knights have collapsed the center pocket, so let's resecure our flanks. And, oh, actually, look at this. We have some, some treachery back there. Let's go hunt them down. Temple off Luminar can shoot there. Hand gunners get ready to go after the giant. And uh, whatever we have here. Fighting side by side with our Jawi brothers. All right, let's 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 actually take care of the trolls first. Yeah, trolls trolls, trolls are a little bit faster. Carl, look at Carl Franz leading the charge like an absolute boss. Just with the dwarves shoulder to shoulder. The classic bromance of Warhammer Fantasy. All right, so let's go ahead and switch on to the giant now. The pretty much a non-factor there. Shoot there. And, uh, yeah, we got some knights in the back just cleaning up shop. <laughs> Our life wizard, we don't even really need it, to be honest. Goblins have our chase off the map now. Great. And, uh, that should be it. We purged the green skins. We shall wield the warhammer. Bronze is full health. We didn't take too much damage. Just a little bit on our great swords. And arguably, if we wanted to be, like, le more, less thematic and more competitive, we could have taken, like, no damage at all. But, you know, I feel like it's pretty cool to have the great swords just, just getting up there and going fisticuffs. Oh, a little bit of friendly fire. All right, let's end the battle before we blow up more of our own stuff. The trolls were looking for the toll, but the toll was... We were the ones making the toll. We were the ones demanding the toll. Yes. It was great. For Sigmar, indeed. Thank you guys for joining today. I know it's a little bit later, so it might be tough for some of you guys over in the... Uh, across the pond, but we're doing it. <laughs> I feel like we did that battle a little bit late. Like that was, our army was just way too strong for that one. All right. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we we're just doing good. Let's give ourselves a little credit. Who knows? Galmaraz is ours. I know. Where are the Demogriff Knights char charging from the woods? I don't know. The best scene in that trailer was by far Carl Franz swooping down, in my opinion. Like when the Empire's like, the Halberdiers are like backing up. They're like, oh, you know, all is lost. And then Carl Franz just comes like an absolute champion from the hill, like the, the sky on Deathclaw. I think that was the coolest part. All right. Carl Maraz has been equipped, so he's going to be pretty beefy now. And uh, yeah. All right. Oh, he leveled up as well. So let's see what we want to do. 
So we're pretty much good in this tree. We have Lightning Strike. We have everything we need. So, I mean, the Ambush Dance. So, uh, Leader of Men, Hold the Line isn't bad. Sigmar's Ward. I'm trying to think what we want to do now. Like, we could just make Karl Franz an Absolute Destroyer. But, I mean, going down Red Tree, I kind of like to get a... Uh, to get the honest steel, this is really good for the late game, like weapon strength for uh, great swords and stuff. But I guess making Karl Franz just the destroyer could be fun. Let's do that. I know it might not be the best thing, but we'll do that. All right, great. So let's actually take inventory of uh, some of our items because we probably have some items we can equip to some of these characters. So let's go ahead and give him Gambler's Armor, the Dragon Tooth. Uh, I don't think he needs that. <laughs> That's fine. Crown of Command could be useful too. Yeah, we have some casting items. Scroll of Leeching, we can take that from Balthazar Gil because he's not really doing much for us. All right, um, and then for our other army, I think uh, Franz can still move, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he keeps all his movement. We want to start heading over in this direction, so we'll just start marching. It's like a little haggard green skin agent here just cackling at us. All right, so here we go. We're flying. We're doing it to it. Over here, the corruption still slowly, slowly dissipating. We just fought the Galmraz quest battle. Yeah. So we're just we're just kind of taking care of business right now. We did confederate with uh, Solund as well, which probably wasn't the best idea because they're just not very strong. But I just wanted to you know rush and get the empire into our grasp here. So yeah, we have our we have our weaving houses and tailor guilds in both these buildings, which is great. Garland Green for the 500 SEK. Bring on the likes for Sigmar and Lady Eternity peasants. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That's very generous of you. Yeah, she's actually working on your clock right now, man. It's it's really really cool. Uh, so. Spartacus is hanging out. We have our like weird Balthazar Gelt Walmart army here, but I don't know. Is there anything like it's just it's just mostly like low tier stuff. We could go we could go to the shipwreck and see. All right, so we're we're gonna go here, and we'll actually fight this with our haggard army. Oh, we can just auto resolve that. That's fine. Hey, so at least he's at least he's bringing in some dough, right? He's just sailing the seven seas. How much money? Eight thousand. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right. So maybe this guy's just going to be our pirate lord, just sailing sailing down the coast and looking for treasure. Is there another one here? No, it doesn't look like it. We could take out the green skin here, although it's uninhabitable. We don't. We just don't want to bother with that. Hey, that was pretty good though. I'm not going to complain. That's that's quite solid. So for here, we can make him the. Uh, he has a ton of archers, so we'll just make him. You know, for now, just buff these guys. Which hunter here is doing his thing? We now have Fort Soul here, so let's go ahead and do. Uh, I mean. Is it, it's already a maxed out fort, so growth is irrelevant. Uh, is there any tax to be had here? No. Okay, income from trade faction wide is cool. Now we can start upgrading a little bit since we just got all that dough. We can't, oh, oh, guys, check this out. So we can actually get the landmark, I think. Oh, it's 16,000 for the Imperial Palace. Goodness gracious. All right, so I think we'll save up for that. Down here, we have a completed province as well. Uh, I didn't really think about this one, actually. I suppose I did not. So here, everything's good. We'll just do uh, tax rate, 5%, untainted. We don't really have to worry about that. It seems like public order is okay for the most part. Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. All right, pass turn. <laughs> My name is Anakin, and I'm a person. Yeah, that... Yeah, he's he'd be a good pirate lord. I mean, and he could just sail until the end of his days, you know. Like if he if he meets his end at sea, then he'll go out like a patriot of Sigmar. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. That's I mean, eight thousand gold's pretty good, and he has a good enough army to win those those battles at sea. So there is kind of a point to keeping him. Like before, I was like, oh, let's just get Vol Mustachio Man, get Volkmar. But we're about to get a huge economic boon from uh, Fildorf from getting the uh, the unique building there, which is basically like a vineyard that just gives us a ton of economy. The Imperial Palace is expensive, but I feel like it, thematically speaking, we have to get it. It actually gives you income faction wide and public order faction wide, which is really nice for conquest. But Balthazar Gelt literally he like literally sent an army down to like like Tilia, just like the just the the far realm down here. And he just captured like a random territory and like nothing else. The AI's just like, ooh, an open base. Yeah, chaos will come for sure. But you know what? The sons of Sigmar stand ready. A pirate cleric? That sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah. But you know, we will not stand idle. We're gonna, we're always on the defense, but we're always prepared as well. So we're actually about to get another offer of confederation here, which is a little bit risky because it will put us in pretty bad imperial authority. But I think I'll take it just because I want to start expanding rapidly. And at that point, like if any of the elector counts are grumpy and want to go to fisticuffs with us, we can just crush them. 
if they if they won't come to heal. I, yeah, we'll see. Freaking Balthazar Gelt is just. I don't know what he's even doing. All right, well, there's a dwarven pirate. Uh, let's go ahead and retreat. If he catches us, and so be it. <laughs> the dwarven pirates attacking us. All right, I guess it's time to go back to the coast until the dwarf. Yeah, the pirates are like, it's our treasure. All right, so oh look at this. The Grand Tour. There are a few better ways to attain political standings than getting a common man on your side. So one way, okay. So it's like basically sending the emperor for a tour. We'll do that. That's right. All right. Great. Oh man, we just got a. Oh my God, we just completed a bunch of quests. Look at that, and the income from industry. Mm -hmm, that's good and tasty. Recruit a lord. Okay, so we have a quest to recruit a lord. We'll get. Uh, we'll get. What's his name? All right. So the dwarves here are. Uh, they're at our at our coast. So we're just gonna get back into our city here and hang out for now. Until uh, until the coast clears, we have walls building here, which is great. Any other economic buildings we can really set up here? We don't need the blacksmith. We could get the. Uh, the paved roads, just to get through this province a little bit quicker. Yeah, that'll be fine. We don't need to worry too much. All right, guys, so we just got a metric ton of money. So now we just go for, uh, we'll go for the Imperial Palace, which why would we not? Uh, the Temple of Sigmar, I don't know if we need to like upgrade that per se. We can upgrade the port, I guess, because it's just still going to give us like money. And eventually, I guess if we do revert to another version, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty good. So Franz is here. Uh, let's take make sure, yeah, we, we're all set here, really. I mean, the gold mine we should upgrade 100% because those things are just so good. And, uh, I mean, this this province is okay. We don't really need to invest much in that. Down here, is there anything we need to do? We could upgrade our settlements here, which I guess doesn't hurt. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. We can get more buildings. More buildings are always good. I guess I haven't really been checking my center province here. We'll upgrade the tanner to the final tier as well. So Franz is probably going to come hammer Marienburg out because, you know, they, they've, they've stolen from my elector counts and they must pay the troll toll. Spartacus still hanging out. How's the corruption doing? Yeah, see, the corruption is going down heavily. The Untainted is really taking care of that. So I could honestly probably leave now with uh, this character, but we'll leave him there for another turn or two before we go on a crusade of sorts. Yeah, the Empire, <laughs> the Empire is getting those stacks, that's for sure. Uh, so Volkmar the Grim will recruit him, and we'll begin mustering an army with him. Although I don't know if we have the money. We probably have to wait till... We'll, we'll just wait till next turn. It's not a big deal. He's helping out. And as far as our tech tree goes... Income from iron and gold mine. So we have a lot of gold mine infrastructure. We have a couple of those, so we'll do that as well. So next turn, I believe we're going to get an offer for confederation from Ostermark, which we probably will take. Uh, it'll put us down to declining, but it's not really a big deal. Like the amount of economy we're going to get from that will be so good. And God, all these stupid territories down here. So how many do we have? We have this one, which probably will get ransacked by rebels at some point, which is okay. Uh, I mean, I would go down and uh, thematically I'd like to help it, but it's just so far down there that it's just not. The Dwarven Pirates have us kind of pinned in our in our troll in our troll hole right now, so that's pretty much uh, it there. And yeah, let's pass. The Dwarves are graceful swimmers. Well, those Dwarven Pirates are quite serious. They got they got a lot of action going on. Oh, you're painting. So guys, this is a bit of a call. This is a call to arms. So I want to play Warhammer Fantasy. All right, I play Warhammer 40k. I love it. I play. As a matter of fact, I actually played in a Warhammer ITC RTT last weekend, and I got first place. I was able to win. It was pretty sweet. I'll be doing a video soon on the army. But more importantly, I want to play Warhammer Fantasy. But I, obviously, I'm not a huge fan of Age of Sigmar. But I want to play an Empire army in Age of Sigmar and just basically treat it like the Empire. And you can still do that. They actually have like the Karl Franz model. You can use him as a free guild general and a Griffin, so it doesn't really matter. It's like you could just say it's Karl Franz for the sake of fluff. But you know, it's pretty hard to find like. And a full army. So if anyone out there just happens to have an Empire army they're looking to sell, hit me up. I will I will be gladly, depending on the price, buy it off you. So. so Anders Graham. I have that settlement because I confederated with Soland, which is Balthazar Gelt's unique faction. And uh, he's one of the Elector Counts now. But uh, the issue being is that uh, he just went and conquered like a bunch of random ass territories like over the course of this campaign. So, uh, All right, so military access is fine. Yeah, cool, man. Wise decision indeed. Confederation Confederation will be coming in relatively soon. So we'll be getting that here in just a moment. It's got to be in the next like two or three turns. I started a guilt campaign. The Emperor seceded from the Empire. <laughs> what? No, I want to I want to play an Empire army with like great swords and crossbows and handgunners and like Karl Franz. That's what I want to play in, in uh, fantasy. 
Yeah, Rido, they are. They are doing that. But the old models will still be in it, right? So, okay. So, electors go to war. So, we're going to stop the war. And that is the reason why do not spend, for anyone who's playing this Empire campaign, do not spend this resource on anything other than these events. Because, like, right now, my, my electors would go to war, right? But here I can stop it. I can get Imperial Authority, which is, like, super useful. And, like, just all is well in the realm. I mean, I'm running pretty low right now, but that's not by any fault of my own. I'm just, like, you know, using it to uh, to do things here. Oh, yes, the wizard is leveled up. This is big. So here we can start to get uh, down the tree for uh, the glorious earth blood, which is, like, going to be so nice. But for now, he can awaken some wood. That's what she said. Um, all right, so how far can we get? So we want to resecure these uh, provinces. So the emperor is going to be coming back to Altdorf for the first time in ages. As far as quests go, marshal the state troops. So recruit a lord, which is fine. We'll get the, uh, the big poppy here soon. And basically now we can just kind of like do a cursory look over. Oh man, we we're about to get that building, I think. Oh, we did get it. Yeah, that's nice. That's really, really good. We have all the econ economic buildings we can possibly have here, which is fine. The fort is good. Our wizard's coming back. He's basically going to be joining uh, Volkmar's army. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, we don't really need growth buildings here. We could start working up here to get Demogriff Knight tech eventually. We'll upgrade the uh, economic buildings there. And uh, we can get something here. I don't think we have any roads in this province yet. Public order is okay. I believe we have a tap room in the main province, so we'll just get some roads. Helps with growth too, which is cool. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the uh, public order due to corruption is here. All right, so it's still eight, so it's going to be like another turn before it really gets better. And uh, we have Spartacus here, his rich <laughs> Mr. Hasselhoff's ancestor. He's going to keep going. We have a Nova open style tournament at our... Oh, yeah, Nova. Nova's a good format too. For sure, Peter. It, it's, it's time for the mustache to rise. I think we might just retire this guy. I mean, his army here has done some work. We could actually go help the dwarves of Varric Bar. So if we if we attack Varric Bar, I mean they have that handled. No, we don't want to do that. And the stupid dwarf pirates here. I mean, I guess I could have him sail the seven seas, but he's probably just going to get hunted down. And it's like such an expensive army here. I, I want to get Volkmar too, so we'll probably just ship this army for now. They've they've done their job. They can go back and rest, you know. Balthazar Gelt sent them on foolish missions, but Karl Franz will not do that. So we're going to go ahead and disband that army for now, and we're going to recruit Volkmar. Volkmar the Grim. Yes, Volkmar comes. The mustache himself. So the mustache is here. He's level four, which is cool. We got to give him some decent equipment, though. Uh, so we'll give him the spell shield. We'll give him... Oh, yeah. We... Can we make him an elector count of something or other? Oh, we can, actually. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get rid of you, because you've done well, but... Volkmar the Grim must be the Electric Count of Sylvania. Because that's pretty cool, right? Having this like badass warrior priest purge the vampiric lands. Uh, oh yeah, and then he can get the uh, he can get the really good item too from that. So now we can actually get the hand weapon, which is going to be... Uh... Yes, he can get the, uh, the Dragon Tooth. Cool. Talisman, we'll give him the... Uh... Go ahead and take that. It's fine. He needs some good items. Stahlberg's letter, we don't really care for that, so not a big deal there. Mount's fine. We just give him some followers as well. Always prudent to do that. Campaign movement range, a really, really good one. We'll take another one. Kislevite uh, Kassar there, and uh, tax rate local province is pretty good as well. Cool. So Volkmar is all pimped out now. We'll get Route Marcher. We'll get him a war horse so he can ride around and just do Sigmar things. And uh, I don't know, do we... We'll probably make him... I don't know what tree we want to go down for him. I mean, I love the blue tree. Heretic Hunter is pretty cool, too. Quartermaster is really useful. And that's just for his army. But Volkmar, we could just make him kind of an inspiring character. Just like using the red tree. I think that'll be okay. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait till next turn to recruit. Our income is really, really good right now, too. You are... Is there anything here we don't really care for? The Death Jacks, we can actually just like disband them for now. And then we can put the Witch Hunter in this army. Great. So he's there. He's hanging out. Karl Franz is head headed to the east. This uh, this death wizard here. Uh, Baldurik. <laughs> Baldurik. Yeah, I like that. He's going to go uh, join Volkmar's army, so Volkmar has a caster. Pass. The crusade is... Yeah, Volkmar, Volkmar is coming. We could actually give him a crusade army, too. We could give him, like, a full-on, you know, mustache powerhouse army. Hashtag Sigmar things. <laughs> I like that. 
Yeah, his personal yellow tree. You know what? Uh, Mark Beans, I'll take a look at that. But Volkmar, I kind of just want to have him riding around on his cart, like buffing nearby troops. I feel like that's where he really shines. But um, again, in campaign, it could be different. Carl Franz is going to be going down to the yellow tree now because he's 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 going to crack some skulls. Like he, we need him to like dual Archeon and these like big powerhouses later. And you know, the red tree for Carl is pretty good though. Yeah, it's a shame, but I don't know. I think I think making Carl into a destroyer is going to be really good. I know there's so much to choose from. So there should be a confederation coming in relatively soon. Like up in this, uh, from Ostermark here. There really should be. I'm not sure where, why, why it's not here yet. We will take a look. Nagarith is raising settlements in Ulthuan in your campaign. That's, that's pretty out of the out of left field to say the least. Okay, uh, so guys, I think Chaos comes around like turn 100. Is that is that pretty standard? That's like, that's the MO on that. I can't remember. I mean, I remember playing an Empire campaign when the game first came out, but I'm pretty sure times have changed, so. I think it's around like turn 90 or 100, like Chaos stirs and makes its way to the south. Yeah, Carl Franz is like, he's such a good sniper. I feel like buffing him in the yellow tree is going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so Ostermark's here. We'll, we'll take it, though, because we have two right now, so it's not going to matter, so we'll accept Confederation. So, yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. So they must have some armies here. Oh my god, look at this guy. Wolfram. Wolfram's got a pretty decent little army though, for sure, but we don't need this. Hey look, it's Toddbringer's cousin, but yeah, we don't need this army, that's for sure. This band, this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at their, their province here in general. So they got some... We don't need this infrastructure here. We don't really care for the... I mean, having access to great sword recruitment everywhere is kind of nice, but we really don't need it. Um, Taproom is helpful. Cattle Ranch is fine. How is public order here? It seems like it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we... And what is their unique building here? They gotta have a unique building, right? So the Reichsfort is fine. Maybe they don't have one. Huh. Interesting. I did get the first Chaos Warning. That already happened. So uh, that that's a thing. The Blacksmith... I mean, do we want to keep the greatsword? Yeah, let's keep the greatsword tech. How are we doing on growth? So we have walls here. We, we basically want to make sure we have walls everywhere. This What does this one give? Casualty replan rate, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, the economic stuff's really good, but we do need walls here. So we can cut this. Pottery barn is okay. Not going to complain about that. Like, I want to be able to recruit some decent troops, but yeah, you know what? We really don't need that, and the blacksmith can go too, I think. And then here we can get rid of the, uh... so this is going to give growth, pistoliers, yeah, we don't, I mean, that's okay. Let's cut that for now. All right, so that we've, we've done our scalpel there. Mordheim has one? Oh, okay. So what do, you own? do we own Mordheim now? I don't think we do. Mordheim's down here somewhere. Anyways, uh, so that's all getting cleaned up here. I'm trying to decide if we want to keep this army. What does he have? A level four witch hunter. He's got a couple captains that are actually, uh... Where am I missing Mordheim? Oh, Mordheim has a special building. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys, I was totally blanking. I was like, what? Well, what is this? So Mordheim has the uh, Sigmar's Rock. Oh, okay. So it just gives untainted in nearby regions. That's kind of cool. We'll, we'll build it for sure. All right, guys, so we took a look at that. Um, everything is looking walled and juicy here. We can continue to upgrade our infrastructure at Altdorf. The uh, the big capital is coming, the big Pumba. We can upgrade our artillery center because Vol maybe Volkman the Grim will want some cannons, right? And he can start recruiting some troops. Uh, we'll get some great swords for his army because great swords are great. Probably a little bit better than flagellants. Although, doesn't he get unique traits for flagellants? So melee defense for flagellants, casualty replen. Hmm. You know what? I feel like it's going to be very fun to have him have like a flagellant army. I know it's like maybe not the most competitive, but let's just do that. So Volkmar's Volkmar is going to have a bit of a crusade army, which will be fun. And we'll give him the red tree to buff flagellants and everything. But yeah, this army is like, I don't know if we need it, but our income is so good. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, what can we use this guy for? We need to go ahead and take a look at the Elector Count system as well. So we have Italian Spartacus and Talbic land. We have Volkmar the Grim. We have uh, Balthazar Gelt down here. Mm. I mean, at this point, it could be... We could do Wolfram. That's fine. Wolfram can be the guy. 
And let's let's go ahead and see how his, his skill tree looks. So he has the troll cleaver, which is nice. Basic armor. He doesn't really have anything. We'll give him a magic load zone. Alright, that's again, that's not bad considering, like, just one point. Yeah, they have a, a gold mine of Karak Ungor up here, but we already have that. So it's uh, it's uh, it's currently upgrading, as a matter of fact. So corruption here is finally becoming a non-factor. So it's almost to the point where we can leave. As a matter of fact, we could just stop taxing this province, and then Spartacus can probably go elsewhere. Elsewhere. So Spartacus's army is not bad. Um, we could have him go help out against the orcs down here, I guess. Let's see how bad it looks when we actually leave the uh, when we actually like leave here. Is it going to stabilize? I think it should. What's the art untainted here now? Well, anyways, we'll, 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 we'll kind of feel it out, play it by ear. Franz is going to be heading to the west once again. Uh, we're going to go kind of resecure, you know, Marienburg and all those those lovely lands here. Volkmar the Grim's Crusade forms. It, it rises from the uh, from the ashes. Volkmar the Grim's going to be getting a, a caster that has some moderate levels, which is cool. We don't really need to upgrade this. I mean, I guess it's a port. We'll take it. It gives us 150 Gs. Extreme fan 177. Might I suggest summoning uh, clears out your electric counts? The electric counts are being summoned for sure. They're coming, man. You know what? We could actually send uh, Wolfram up there to like do some fighting and help out Kislev. Because we like, I feel like with Spartacus, Karl Franz, and Volkmar the Grim, the South is secured. So Wolfram could be like the uh, the warden of the North here, and his army is like decent. It's it's not like a thing of beauty or anything, but he has a lot of characters. Is the only thing. I mean, is there anything up here? We could go t help take out Hellpit, but I'm pretty sure Hellpit has like an insane garrison. And you can see Chaos here is just doing its thing. Norska is actually securing territories up there. So let's send Wolfram a little bit north for now. We'll, we'll keep him. Do we want Wolfram though? I mean, it's just like so much unnecessary expense. It's so much unnecessary expense. And like, it's such a mediocre army. I mean, Wolfram has served well. I think he can go back and, uh... Can we actually even, like, get rid of these guys? Yeah, we have to We have to get them out of the army. I don't know. Hard to say, guys. Hard to say what we're going to do with that. Franz is going to go get Marienburg back. Currently, I mean, Spartacus could be the Warden of the North. We don't really need to go south, to be honest. We just need to defend our borders. So maybe we'll just keep Spartacus here. Kind of, uh, you know, wardening it. Volkmar the Grim and Karl Franz should be able to cover territory. So, so we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and disband the army. I, it's just, it's like, I'd rather have the money. That's like not even a, a great army, to be honest. Get rid of these characters. Characters can be banished. And character can be... Pick up the pace. What? If we if 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 the war if war becomes an issue and we have to muster an army in a hurry, we can summon Wolfram once more. Wolfhart, uh, where does Wolfhart start? Is he like in the south, kind of in that that general neck of the woods? Because like now, look at our economy; it's so good and tasty. God, all these like random agents everywhere. Yeah, we don't need we don't need you. That's fine. So here we have this region that is coming up in the world. So let's go ahead and do a public order. We'll host Vestog for now. I think there was a slight public order issue. It's fine, and we will pass turn. Yeah, the Arwar Flagellants will go to Volkmar for sure. Uh, I don't think Gochak and Felix are going to be available, even if like it appears in your campaign. I've heard a lot of people saying that. I don't think they're going to be available until uh, the White Dwarf episode comes out, or the White Dwarf thing. He's over in Lustria? Yeah, I guess... Doesn't Wolfart? Yeah, you know, going over to Lustre is pretty pretty balls deep. Well, you know, we don't need those armies right now. And now we have 12,000 gold per turn, which means we're going to be able to, like, secure everything. Plus, we're going to be able to afford a better army for Volkmar. And then we'll uh, we'll be in good shape from there. Oh, guys, it's... What date is Festog? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys for joining. 638 people watching campaign. Always Always a good time. The Empire is coming to, uh, coming under our uh, control, that's for sure. What does this guy want? He wants a trade agreement? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. We'll take it. Not really going to think twice about that. So, yeah, we're going to take back Marienburg this campaign. I think you can only get it if you get the White Dwarf. Yeah, I'm not really sure, though. 
I know it's really nice when the Empire comes together and unites under one banner. It's basically going to be a, a waiting game now until Chaos comes. I, I don't know what big threats there's going to be. I mean, Kislev, Kislev will get roasted for sure, but we'll have we'll have Volkmar the Grim and uh, and Karl Franz up there waiting. Like as soon as Chaos starts to stir, we do need to kind of get Toddy like on our side though. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't. We'll risk more sleep wrath. Balthazar Guild's ready for duty. Hopefully he has a good tech tree. But okay, so now we need to build walls. And we need to go ahead and build the unique wall. The Sigmar's rock. And then we'll also build a gatehouse because you pretty much have to. Gatehouse and a gatehouse here. Oh, there's already a gatehouse. Okay, so for here we could just build a... Do we have public order? We do. So, I mean, a little bit of growth is fine. Let's do that for now. Great. So that region is pretty much done. We've uh, we've taken care of it. Down here, Castle Temple off is just trolling us. How are we doing on public order here? Everything looks good. We have gatehouses, not super urgent, but yeah, upgrading economic infrastructure is always good and tasty. So you, you know what we can actually do is we can bring you back here. And I believe we have the blacksmith here, don't we? I think we had one. Maybe I, I took it down. Hard to say. Well, Spartacus's army is pretty basic, but it's it should be enough to uh, kind of hang out. So he's just going to continue hanging out here. Yeah, I saw I saw that we're getting another. Uh, I would assume Festa would be like the holidays, right? So Volkmar the Grim, as far as uh, his recruitment wagons, oh god, we will get uh, we'll get another wave. What ROs do we want to get? The Hammer of the Witches can be with him. Sigmar's sons. And then he can get another wave of... Uh, we probably should get some great swords. Uh, Alright, so let's get some powder for Volkmar. Great. So Volkmar's army is coming along nicely. Karl Franz is going to go and... Uh, what are our relations with these guys anyways? I mean, it's decent. It's negative 13 actually, so it's not, not much to write home about. So Franz is just going to go prepare. Prepare to strike. We, I mean, March Dance is a little bit haggard, but we don't have to worry about like any sort of repercussions really. And our caster is coming to join here. He's going to be joining Volkmar's army. Volkmar's crusade. I feel like Volkmar needs some warrior priests in his army too. And let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, most of these characters. Balthazar Gelt, we could recruit him if we want another army as well. Connor says, Turin, how the hell are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah, the Empire campaign's really fun, man. I'm having a blast. And uh, let's go ahead and pass turn. Let's see how we're doing fealty-wise too. So we've gotten this big chunk of the Empire. We basically have like these guys. It's, it's unfortunate because they... They just have like one or two. Toddy hates us for some godforsaken reason. Yeah. Well, such is life. So we'll pass through. Such is life, my friends. Yeah, yeah. Actually, now would probably be a good time to go correct my provincial commandments. Yeah, because it's been a while since I've updated those and I'm kind of just rushing. I'm not like, you know, being super nitpicky about those. Not that it matters really, but I mean, it could help a little bit. My reliability is pretty good. I think I'm, uh, I, I, I had one situation that kind of hurt, but, uh, it's, it's high right now. So, but you know, it doesn't matter too much. I pretty much have all the agreements I already want. So Marienburg must pay the troll toll. The Amethyst wizard is death. Your ally declares war. Who do they declare war on? Uh, Slakwan. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> They're just declaring war on random <laughs> random people here. The dwarves are fighting the Greybeard's prospectors? That seems a little bit wrong, doesn't it? Toddbringer wants to be the emperor. Well, you know what? Even though Toddy does have a badass mustache, he's going to have to be taught a lesson about, you know, about being part of, being part of the team, you know? Carl, Carl has, we'll have a word with him here. Boris hating you is lore friendly. Well, that's good. At least we're At least we're in flavor here. There may come a time when we have to just like, okay, what does Kislev want? Uh, so I don't want to make any alliances with Kislev quite yet because they're at war with some of my Elector counts. So uh, we're just going to kind of hang tight. I mean, Kis it doesn't matter. Kislev is going to have to fight Chaos anyways. I have to pay the troll toll. It's correct to get Toddbringer. I mean, but we'll give him back Karaburg here and then uh, we'll bring him to heal. I definitely want Toddy to be one of our lords in the late game. All right, so that is good. I think we have some some sort of an agreement here. All right, so okay, it's one of those damn intervention battles. 
Uh, all right, so we're gonna save our prestige because again, always save that for civil wars. We're gonna send a military force. It's, oh, oh, this is like, this is an easy one. Like I should auto resolve this. Like their garrison alone can win this. Like they don't even need me. We'll just fight it to be safe though because it's really annoying if you lose these battles. We're gonna teach Todd a lesson. I actually do. So Jojo brings up a great point. He says uh, that I do have Oslin's unique unit, which I should be taking a look at. I'm sorry, guys. And I also have the Emperor's Wrath steam tank, if I'm not mistaken. So that I have, I haven't even checked. I've just been on such a angry mission for Sigmar. I've been ignoring my uh, my sacred duties to show you guys these new units. So yeah, I'll get those. So I mean, I guess they have black orcs and a spider and stuff. But I mean, my garrison is pretty strong here. Well, the lead, I guess the leader doesn't have a mustache is kind of how that goes. Yeah, so, I mean, we could have probably could have just auto-resolved this. I mean, yeah, you can see the orcs are going to take a... I mean, if the AI was left to its own devices in this battle and I didn't help, it might lose. Because the AI is just so terrible. Alright, so let's get you guys over here. Get you guys here. And you guys over here. Alright, so the orcs are coming in. They're taking a, a, a walloping from this Imperial garrison. Oh my god. Uh, but which garrison do we need to help? The trolls will break through here, but honestly, they're probably just going to falter. So I think we just come over here. It's more helpful. Because this is where all the giants and black orcs and other units are going to be kind of engaging here. So what we'll do is we'll send one group of greatswords to help out here. And we'll put them in group 5 just so we know that's what we're doing. Yeah, because like the trolls are already get, just getting troll told here. Black orcs will be climbing the walls, which is going to be a little bit scary. So we want to get our handgunners here to help deal with the monsters when they do get in. This is like the first time the first time we've had a battle that where it's like we had a huge advantage. Because like in all these like battles, it's been just like hellish to like try and win. Black Orcs are climbing the walls. Archers are climbing the walls. You know that's a sign of desperation. We'll get the hand gunners up here on the hill. This is like a perfect situation for them. We'll get our Hunts Marshal there. We'll get our Halberds right here. And uh, our other great sword shall get in front of the wall. Great. So now we just fast forward. Wait for our, our guys to get in position here. There's just like a random war wagon here. So our great swords are here at the gate. We'll uh, use them to help fend off the trolls with those spears. Which, I mean, obviously trolls are counter to great swords on paper. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I guess there are some Black Orcs on the walls that are you know, getting here, so we could send you guys up here to kind of help out. Let's do that. That'll be fine. Another great swords are coming. Oh, they took like the long circuitous route there. Okay, that's fine. So our halberds should be able to help hold the wall. We could actually even send our other great swords. Like, I don't think they're even trying to get in the gates here. So let's send our other great swords up on the walls here. And the hand gunners. <laughs> Sorry, hopefully you guys don't mind me just playing this battle and fast forward. It just seems a little bit lopsided, so I don't think there's any point to like really engaging in it so yeah i mean we'll just shoot whatever we can the giants just derping outside the walls here great swords coming up here will be very helpful and these swordsmen can kind of scoot up now the spider's in so let's go ahead and position here and now we can go regular speed it's fine the hellstrom rocket batteries are just blasting the walls all right so let's get those guys that should be able to secure that that position pretty easily Hand gunners here, we'll put them in group two, and we'll start shooting the spider. Put them in guard mode as well to make sure they uh, they do their thing. Now look at this, we actually have some, uh, we'll throw we'll throw some oil here and use the uh, burning arrow. Halberds will be in reserve. Our guys in the wall should be able to help the situation. This is like the first time it's been like a good battle. Like normally these ones are just like, like horribly difficult. So now he's vulnerable to fire, so we'll shoot the fire arrow, which should do some good damage. Let's go ahead and take a look. I don't know how the AP is on it. Okay, yeah, I probably should have been using that on the giant. Time to get the halberds in. The orcs are on the walls here, but Hellstrom rocket batteries are doing some work. Our great swords are uh, cleaning up this wall engagement relatively effectively. That spider hath been uh, vanished or vanquished. Get the huntsman shooting here. Yes, put it down, bring it down, bring it down. No army losses yet, so yeah, now we don't need to worry about that. We just take out the giant here, just methodically go through these targets. Go after you guys. I don't know if we have to worry about the spider actually coming back. Like, if the army st lingers outside the city. But if it does, let's just finish off the spider just to be safe. So our guys are in there. Orcs are, you know, doing okay on some positions of the wall. Spider's falling. Let's go ahead and score you guys up. Score you guys up. Halberds uh, can just finish off these little gremlins. Yeah, that's, that should be it. We're not going to chase or anything. All right. There we go. <laughs> Christian says, watching Turin play massive battles on high speeds. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you got to get to the juicy part of the campaigns.
You got to you got to get to the juicy part. So that's going to help us Nordland. Uh, Nordland will like us more now, which is good since we won that. Oh, regardless, it would. But um, that's cool. Nordland is the one we've had like a mission to get a trade agreement with this entire campaign. And we just like haven't been able to because they're just such such trolls. I don't know why. I have no idea. Griswold did well. Mr. Wiseman here. So Volkmar's Crusade army is coming along nicely. He does have the Hammer of the Witches and a couple other uh, cool assets here. So uh, let's go ahead and just take the captains out. We don't really need the money that much. Great. Defeat the following army. It wants us to take out pirates. All right. That's cool. A woodsman. So I don't know what agreements we have with you. No, we don't even have a non-aggression pact. Great. So we can just go and just, just take these guys to town here. And for Volkmar's army, let's go ahead and see what we want to recruit. I'd love to get some knights as well. Um, we could do a global recruitment and just get some knights of the Blazing Sun and be very lazy. So the new units we have. So we have the Knights of Moor, but we also have the Knights of the Everlasting Light. Okay, that sounds like a Volkmar unit. So let's just go ahead and get that. And uh, let's actually just pin it and take a look at what it does. So this one lowers melee attack with Blinding Radiance. Okay, Volkmar, you're getting those guys. And then we have the Elders Guard, which are... Oh, we don't have the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank. That's a Nuln, that's right. Uh, and the Spear Guard here, we don't really care about those guys. So we're just going to take the Knights for now. And for the rest of Volkmar's army... We definitely want to get some like heavy firepower, but we can do a global recruitment of some Knights of the Blazing Sun. Oh, we have to be in encamp stance. Okay, Volkmar's not Defender garrisoned. Now yeah, we should be able to. So global recruitment. We do have Demogriff Knight Tech actually. We could do that. Six turns though, Jesus. Maybe we'll just run Volkmar over there. That'll probably be fine. You can get there. Yeah, Volkmar charging. So, um, do we not have the Demogriff Knight tech here? We must have it somewhere else in the Empire and just we're not aware of it. Okay, so for now we can recruit some, uh, we'll just do it next turn. doesn't really matter. And our wizard can go join him. Good. Where is our Demogriff Knight tech? We must have it in one of the regions that we, like, confederated. We'll upgrade the, uh, the landed estate here. Everything's going there. Everything's going to code. Spartacus is securing this province, which the corruption should be very low now. Yeah, it's still there, actually. Still causing some problems. There's just a random dwarf army hanging out in our territories. The Knights of Moor are definitely a Volkmar unit. Yeah, but I'm really enjoying them in Karl Franz's army. <laughs> I'm really enjoying them there, to be fair. But yeah, we get the Knights of the Everlasting Light. That Come on. Come on. I have to keep... Th the Knights of Moor, it's really nice having that terror-causing unit. Alright, so... You know what? Uh, yeah. It's time for you to... Uh, I don't feel like... So we're just going to auto-resolve. Hopefully it's not that bad. Okay, we don't lose anything. Oh, oh, we okay, so we lost Tattersouls, actually. But that's not a big deal, because now we can give them to... Uh, so we're going to return that to Toddy. You're welcome, Toddy. And now we can actually head back to uh, to Altorf, and we can recruit some new stuff. Or we can just keep heading heading over on our mission here. Toddy, Toddy will like us eventually. Now, what do we want to recruit? So, one more Greatsword's probably fine. And then, uh, is there any ROR's we want for your army? No, not really. I mean, we could get the Eldred Guard, but they're just pretty pretty much a subpar unit. Altorf does have the Cannon Tech coming, but it's still two turns until that's ready, so... Yeah, and that, that's fine, because the Tatter Souls will be back in a handful of turns, and then we can just give them to Volkmar at that point, so it actually works out well. Uh, we got some level ups here in this army, so Franz is leveled up, which is cool. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at his tree here. So what does he get? He gets 10 Weapon Strength, Leadership, Deadly Onslaught's pretty good. Hmm. Heroic, plus one for captains, not terribly useful. Man, I feel like go not going down the red tree is a huge mistake. You can have more than one. Let me go and check. Yeah, I know you can have multiples of the uh, unique units. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. After an indicated number of turns. Oh, that's good and tasty. All right, so Franz will just get, get another one of those. I don't even know if we need the greatswords in that case. And then the Knights of the Everlasting Light. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that you can have multiples there. Volkmar the Grim will get one of the mortars. That's okay. So let's just yeah, go ahead and do a local recruitment. Now, is there anything? We'll go through our provinces and just upgrade the... Uh, so this is just income from trade and growth. That's pretty good. I mean, tax 5% tax is probably pretty good as well. Imperial taxation because there's like huge economy there. 
Fest dog isn't necessary. Sorry, guys, the party has to end sometime. All right, so we're going to tax rate. Ostermark is pretty good on public order. So we'll just tax him. Up here. Public order seems pretty good here, despite that. So yeah, we can just, we can, sorry, guys. You're gonna get taxed. Although this region's still growing, so we can go for the uh, the growth on those guys. Sylvania here. Ashen has some new buildings we can get going, I think. How much money do we have? Roads are useful, but they're already being built. Good, the economic infrastructure. And uh, we'll actually keep hosting Vestalk here, I think. Yeah, it's probably fine, because there's there are public order issues in that, that region. All right, so I think we're good. Some level ups here from uh, Boris von Gandalf, everyone's favorite wizard. We could get the Mind Razor. We can't get Immortality yet. Enfeebling Foe isn't going to be bad, but hey, Mind Razor on, on Carl is going to be really strong. And then the Jade Wizard is finally leveled up, which is going to be good, so we can do that. Oh yeah, we forgot to put Carl's skill point. Yeah, one of the Halberds went down in Franz's army, for sure, but it's it's not a huge deal. Leader of Men gives Orosh... Yeah, hold, hold the line isn't bad. Plus five melee defense is pretty useful. But we're going to make Franz just the destroyer here, so we'll, we'll give him the Deadly Blade. We want him to just like make contact and do a lot of damage. So I would like to get some cannons here. The suits and mortars, like I, I don't really care for it that much. It's it's not that useful, I don't think. Anyways, let's just pass turn. <laughs> Boris is gonna use the force ending of the Fest Dog. Yeah, probably. Boris Boris likes us a little more now because we returned Karaberg to him. And now we need to go deal with Marienburg in general, so. We'll uh we'll Yeah, we're gonna get our second Karaberg greatsword. Uh, there's still a turn timer until we can get that, so Franz will probably hang out in Altdorf until then. And then we'll recruit it and we'll just go party from there. I'm not sure what threats like I really need to deal with. Volkmar's Crusade will probably... I mean, we could go south and start smashing some Greenskin Skulls. and Because if we smash the Greenskins enough, then what, what's going to end up happening is the Dwarves will just steamroll that entire like area. Although it looks like the Tomb Kings are coming up from the south. If you guys look on the minimap here, you can see there's like a, a Tomb King Inquisition. Maybe I'll just get the melee attack buff for Franz and then go... Yeah, I feel like the Red Tree is just so much better. Like, I wanted to make Con Franz a destroyer, but he already kind of is. I don't know. Let me think about it. I wouldn't mind getting the plus 12 melee attack and then dipping back into the Red Tree to get the Greatsword, like the Honest Steel. Because we have, like, what, 40-something levels? So I guess it doesn't matter too much. All right, so Wiseland has declared war on Paravon. Interesting. So that could give us an opportunity to uh, get some of those lands back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Volkmar's Pimp Wagon is coming. Whether or not you guys want it, Volkmar's pimp wagon is coming. He's pissed. He's on a wagon. And it's happening. Uh, so the campaign streams. So there will be one today. There will be one on Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, I have, to, I have to catch up on recording regular videos tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing that. The Bray Herds come. Oh, Toddy. Toddy, the Bray Herds cometh. So Franz is recruiting here. Let's go ahead and start recruiting some awesome units here with uh, Volkmar's army. So we'll get some Knights of the Blazing Sun, because why not? And also, I do want to upgrade the Demogriff Knight tech in this region, so eventually we can start getting some Demis, because obviously that's pretty important. We'll get the uh, Tailor's Guild. Mordheim has all its goodies. I mean, gatehouses are always a good idea to upgrade as well. But let's go ahead and see if there's anything more fun if we want to upgrade first. Look at that. We don't really need the Greatsword tech there right now, so we'll just upgrade a random gatehouse. Cool, so Volkmar is getting his Knights of the Blazing Sun, so truly a Crusader army. Pro after we get the Knights of the Blazing Sun with him, we'll probably actually just get, uh, we'll get the, uh, yeah. Volkmar. Volkmar will definitely go down this tree, because if we go for the, if we're going for a theme army, yeah, we, we get the Emperor's Finest here to get the melee attack and defense for the Flagellants, and then we go down and get the, uh, the Cav tech and some of that good stuff. Now, Franz's tree, let me go ahead and do a little bit of research before I go further here. So we got the Deadly Blade. Plus 12 melee attack is pretty mean, putting him up to 80. So that might actually be worth it. But basically what we would do is we'd get Honest Steel to get the Greatsword and Demogriff Knight for the end game. We can get Imperial Gunnery if we want to, because that's really good. And then we want to get the... Uh... Yeah, that's Strength of Hardship, Sharpshooter, and Taste for Battle, probably. Those are really, really good. I'm sorry, Udal. I'm sorry. So Franz is upgrading. It's fine. Uh, we don't need to upgrade that. That's, that's cool. We don't need to upgrade this stupid fort in the north. I mean, I guess we could. Is it going to rebel or anything? Yeah, 27 turns. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 going to get like ransacked oh, by chaos anyways. Uh, Spartacus here, still holding down the fort. 
Okay, so it looks like we're almost enough to like, almost enough to like stop babysitting this place. As a matter of fact, we can just leave the witch hunter here to uh, cleanse corruption, and then the main army can go. So Spartacus can start heading south, I think. Although we don't really have an army defending the north, so maybe Spartacus just heads north. Yeah, that's probably better. So we'll we'll head north with Spartacus. We'll leave the witch hunter here. He should be able to deal with the uh, corruption before it becomes an issue there. Volkmar the Grim's recruiting, Karl Franz is recruiting, and uh, I mean, is there any trading? We could actually try and finally get that trade agreement with Nordland. If we do, that's going to be the name of the episode. Oh, we got it! The turn one mission completed. Aha! A vast, <laughs> great victory is ours this day. Castle Temple off, we could actually upgrade it. I mean, that's not a bad idea. We can get some public order stuff there too. All right. He's 94 and you haven't even touched that yellow tree. <laughs> yeah, we've had confederations recently. We, we, the yellow tree, I mean, I, in my experience, guys, I'm, I'm kind of playing it a little bit differently with Carl, but I usually always go down the blue tree because lightning strike and uh, upkeep for your army is like, I am saving so much money with the 15% upkeep production for my Lord's army because of how elite I am. In the end game, it's like game changing. So I feel like that's like the better way on harder difficulties um, is blue tree first. And then from there, I actually prefer the red tree mostly because like getting like the force multiplying effect, like Carl Franz can only be so many places at once. Granted, I mean, yeah, like you can have characters like Kolak or whatever, Franz even, who are just these world beaters, but I prefer to have like my troops be strong too. I don't know. I don't know what the right choice is. Like I'm sure every, you know, uh, streamer or whatever has their own play style, but I really love the red trees. Yeah. Franz is already a world beater, so we're going to get Demogriff Knight soon. We are researching the tech, so Volkmar the Grim and his mustache are uh, in good shape. All right. So, there's a foreign trespasser. It looks like Gotrek is here. Like, see, I don't even have it or anything. Like, I'm just playing the vanilla game. Huh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. All right, so he's, he's doing his thing there. He's just trundling in my territories. <laughs> so be it. I'm, I'm tempted to look. All right, so let's see here. Uh, so we'll arrange a gift, a state gift. Yeah, this is with the uh, those guys. Yeah, so Gotrek is raiding my territories. Do you guys see this? Oh, okay, so we got the income from the iron mines and gold mines. Look at our income all of a sudden. Oh, that's so good. So here, uh, Franz is gonna recruit you guys and recruit. So now we have two of the Caribou Great Swords, so our army's quite juicy. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> if like it's have you guys had that happen in your campaign has go check come out like his uh, like I, I i didn't think it was supposed to be out yet all right so now we uh carl franz's army is pretty juiced uh jammer griff knight tech will be ready in a couple turns okay one second here so jammer griff knight's in a couple turns which is great volkmar the grim is recruiting his his glorious knights of the blazing sun yeah have you guys had go check appear in your campaigns Hawkland recruited him. I heard if you confederate the AI, you get to use him for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it shouldn't be the case. All right. So the Black Pit. So we'll go take the Black Pit next. And like, because I don't know. That that seems like it could be fun. So let's go up there and take that. Toddy, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to let me go through your territories. You have to meet with an army. I've not seen him in mine. You just can't recruit him? Okay, so other people have seen it. Okay, so, well, if we look at Gotrek here. Oh my god. Okay, so Gotrek's Doom. He gets uh, melee defense and damage resistance. He gets heroic fortitude, I guess. Well, so he get, oh, he heals. Okay, that's pretty neat. Unbreakable. What does Felix do? Helping hand. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Augment, melee attack, and then he has the Blood Oath, so he replenishes. Oh, wow, that's really strong. AoE healing. The AI can recruit him. All right, then. So I guess I, I was, like, worried. I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like... But, I mean, if it's just in the game, then I don't think it matters. All right, so... Gatehouses, gatehouses, growth. Let's get all the goodies. Let's just do... This is, like, to the point where you just start, like, blanket upgrading things. Uh, ah, why not? Screw it. Let's do that. That's fine. All right, so the walls and everything are going. Carl's going to be heading to the north. And, uh... Yeah. Volkmar the Grim is recruiting as well. Spartacus is the warden over here. We could send him to the north. Sigmarai 
What were we gonna do over here anyways? I mean I guess we could just come up and resecure this this little province, the brass keep. Let's just do that for now. And he's leveled up. We can't get the good warrior priest stuff quite yet. Reassuring presence, uh iron disciplinarian's fine. We're just gonna we're trying to get down to the upkeep. Go <laughs> Trek's available in your campaign. Yeah. I'm excited to actually get to like use them in the campaign. All right, so the Black Pit, we can go into a waddling stance now. Actually, you know what? There's nothing Marion Bird could throw at us. Even if our army's tired, like I'm not, I'm not afraid of their their army. Like even if my army's tired, like what is this army gonna do? Nothing. The Witch Hunter here is continuing continuing to cleanse corruption. Construction time for all buildings is okay, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much at this point. So the infantry tech, we could get. Yeah, I think we have everything there. Reload time. Okay, so we don't care about pistol ears that much. Reload time for the handgunners isn't bad. What can we get in this tree? Oh, look at this. Failty threshold at which will trigger civil wars and secessions. Oh, plus one failty for everyone. Okay, so let's let's do that to try and hurry up the confederation. All right, cool. Uh, the moot is owned by one of my allies. So the unique building at the moot is like a halfling hot pot thing. It's like a cooking building. I think it gives you like good growth and a little bit of income and other th I don't own the moot. It's actually owned by one of my electors. Sterling owns it, yeah. So I don't have that quite yet. Yeah, Caribou greatswords are amazing. They buff nearby units. So like having two Caribou greatswords saturated in my greatsword lines is just going to be like money. Military lines negotiated between Greybeard's prospectors and the Lizardmen. Well, okay then. That is uh, that is something. The odd alliances. The odd couples. Oh, the moot does have unique buildings. Yes, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Like, cause it's not something I don't want to conquer it and just take out these guys who are pretty much about to join me. Null Nuln is the one that I might just have to like take out. Like, if if they're the last one, I can just go and take them. And I may have to go to war with Toddy as well if he's not going to come to heal, which kind of sucks. But I don't know. I'm trying to give Toddy back some of his buildings here. So, Marienburg's army's chilling. Lordlands hanging out. There's still a couple, but we've confederated with most of them, or at least four of them, I think. It gives you g growth and some some supplies and trading stuff. Yeah, I think that's correct. I think that's correct. <laughs> Gotrex just raiding my lands. That's cool, dude. I, I'm a huge fan. So you you just you just run around in the woods and do as you please. I play yeah I play in 40k tournaments once a month. Yeah, I'm I'm really into ITC and uh, all that stuff. Confederation. All major port owners have been known. Oh, okay. That's cool. So Volkmar's army is coming together quite nicely. Demogriff Knight Tech will be here soon. In one turn. So as a matter of fact, we may actually just save some money and recruit some demis with him. I mean, cannons are quite cool too. For this type of an army. Can we get cannons yet? Hellblaster Volley Guns are actually really badass also. And that does allow us to get the meme tank as well. So let's actually go ahead and upgrade this to the final tier so we can get the glorious meme tank. Look at the tap room. I guess I mean, we don't need that. All right, so we're up here. We're at the Black Pit. We're going to go siege the city. All right, so it looks like we actually have to fight this, unfortunately. We could we could actually just siege for one turn and hope they come out to open field just to spare spare ourselves the, the time. Uh, continue siege. It's fine. We'll do that for one turn. Yeah, because this is cool. We could actually complete a little province here, and then, and then we'll go and take out Lawlorn Forest as well, and so we'll take that for ourselves. All right, so that the meme tank infrastructure is coming up. Volkmar the Grim. Uh, we could take this mortar. That's actually okay. What do, what do I have too much of in this army? I mean, we have a lot of cav. Yeah, I think we don't need that mortar. We can actually put that mortar in uh, Spartacus's army. Hans is doing his thing here. Untainted is almost gone. Public order is, uh, yeah, the corruption's almost dealt with, which is great. Spartacus, take that. We'll give you that that cool mortar, so at least you have a, a artillery piece. The brass keep, you know, let's go. Ch what is the brass keep part of? Okay, so it's part of this region here. You don't have a trade agreement with you, dude. He's, he's not. He's not very happy. So yeah, everyone's where they should be at the yes. moment. The Brass Keep, we could actually just return it to those guys. What's their fail right now? Their fail T6, it's not that good. 
But anyway, Sparty, Sparty can come do that. that. That's actually like a worthy use of his time, I think. Let's get the Earth Flood, obviously. Then we'll go into March Dance with him. And we'll head over this way. It's a bit of a journey, but it's okay. Oh, oh, hello. What is this? This is just some neutral army. Okay, so we might actually have to squash that guy. If he's, uh, if he's gonna be trolling my territories. How good are the special units? They're pretty good, yeah. The special units are really solid. Gotrek's here and he's pissed. He is quite pissed off. So we're sieging this city. Hopefully they'll come out, because then we can just karate chop them. Uh, Volkhorn's army is actually quite good. It's it's not bad. We'll go back to Altdorf probably. I don't know if he really needs Demogriff Knights. We'll go back to Altdorf and then we'll recruit. We'll get a couple cannons next turn. I don't know if we can recruit them right now. Actually, let's let's check. Yeah, we can. I think. So we can finally get some cannons. So let's let's get some cannons here. Pretty good. Pretty good against Chaos and some of the stuff they bring as well. Because that army does lack AP. In this army, what will probably change is we'll get rid of the Halberds eventually, and then we'll. Uh, We'll probably get rid of the mortar and we'll get some like demogriff knights. I think that'd be pretty good. Up here, do we have any building options? We do, but we don't care about that. God, so these like random bases are so annoying. All right, pass turn. Uh, Keel, you've missed uh, you've missed the Galmaraz quest, which was pretty one-sided. Uh, we were basically this is very much like a unification episode, so we're kind of methodically going through the empire and, and resecuring. Our provinces and like giving them back to the elector count it's, it's very much like cleanup because we've confederated pretty widely at this point and we're about to get another one from uh probably from these guys down here which would be cool because it'll give us the moot and a couple other buildings is there any point to taking lawlorn forest well Reth, we're going to find out in this episode i will be taking lawlorn forest and seeing if it has any unique buildings or anything like that apparently it has a huge massive garrison too so basically we're just cleaning up the marienburg right now who you know has gone a little bit deeply into boris's territory so i'm trying to Trying to appease the toad. The toad will... Oh, they're attacking Zufar. How dare they? Or at least they're they're having some agent actions over there. What are your thoughts on the Psychic Awakening Psychic Awakening in 40k? I have no idea. I have a feeling it might be endless spells. Uh, like, so each faction will be getting, like, endless spells just like they do in Age of Sigmar, but I hope not, but we'll find out. All right, Durthu's declared war on me once again. It's so the second time this campaign. There's never been anything to come of it, but, you know. Lalorn must have a, land, a landmark. It must. Sediment besieged the Black Pit. Our force led by the Emperor Karl Franz has besieged. Marienburg wants to uh, a peace treaty. Yeah, yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, not happening. I was hoping that they would they would come out and fight us. The stream has your consent, Christian. Well, I'm glad. Do you get the Runefang from? Uh, I do have Runefangs. Yeah, you get Runefangs from basically from all of your different electorates. So these different regions each provide a different Runefang. Lawlorn Forest, yeah, we're going there. Or whatever the hell it's called. These Mortal Empire's turns are killing They're killing me, Smalls. They're killing me. Alright, so Gerard's Errant Tree is here. Gotrek is raiding us, apparently. <laughs> For some godforsaken reason. Alright, so let's go over here. Sorry about the uh, intrusion here. The Brass Keep, I don't know why nobody's like taking it. Is it some accursed place? So, I mean, his army here is pretty decent, I guess. I mean, it's an easy fight. I guess we'll just do it, because I don't feel like waiting here. Like, we, the Emperor has things to do, you know? So, Altorf here, what can we upgrade? Uh, we can get the Conclave of, of Wizards if we want to, but we don't really need to at this point. We have our cannons coming, so Volkmar will have a full stack of a pretty decent little army. We can go ahead and upgrade this. Do we really need this? I guess we have cannon tech down here, too, in case we need it. I mean, there's not much. As long as we have our economic or our walls up, like eh, it doesn't really matter, the extra buildings. You never know, might be useful later on. Uh, over here, some basic walls here. We have growth infrastructure here that we can hit. We can get some more wine. Get some more walls here. We're literally just like spam upgrading everything now, which is, it's, it's a good feeling when you get to that in the campaign. All right, Franz, it's time. The Black Pit must, must pay the troll toll. Imagine auto-resolving this and losing it, oh my God. Uh, I don't think Lightning Strike matters here, but we'll just do it anyways. Fight battle, and let's do it. Lol Lol Forest. So the uh, Udal, I'll be doing a video this week probably. The thing is, is I'm my I haven't had a phone for like two weeks. It's really funny. Um, it's such it's such a good experience. Let me tell you guys, like not having a phone is so nice. Uh, but basically, uh, I'm gonna be getting a new phone that has a good camera because like my handheld camera is like pretty crappy. So I'm gonna get like a newer generation phone that has a that has like a good camera, right? Uh, so let's actually get the halberds pushing this. 
I think that's going to be better. Yeah, they can just be front and center here. I think the Temple of Luminar can blast the towers and stuff, right? Anyways, uh, so you want to mix the Caribou Greatswords in amongst your Greatswords. Like, kind of just have them, uh, like, you know, saturated in the, the battle lines here. Great. We'll get the handgunners back here in group two. We'll probably take a fair amount of ca like casualties here because I'm not going to cheese. But uh, it should be okay. And our Cav Corps can just be hanging out in the back. And the Temple off Luminarch. I think we can actually blast the gate down with it. We'll find out here. I do have a, a wizard now, which is helpful. Uh, I don't really care about the ones of magic. That's fine. So let's hard lock these guys for now, just for basic movements. And uh, wizards can be in group one because they're going to be moving up with the boys. Perfect. Hey, Nate McBrady, thank you for becoming a member here on the channel. Much appreciated, man. Welcome to the crew. And uh, let's put you guys here. And good. So let's get the, uh, the, the guys going up here. And we'll start shooting the gatehouse here. It'll, it'll be interesting. We'll shoot on the walls as well. Yeah, the auto-resolve for these type of battles is kind of annoying for sure. But Franz is just going to go and swiggity sweetie these walls like so hard. Let's see, let's see what kind of damage this does to a gatehouse. I don't play campaign much, so we're going to be kind of learning together. That's That's okay. I mean, I guess it's it's something. Franz could probably, like, is just going to be able to crump these walls pretty good. We're basically just going to fly him in and have him, like, take out the characters in the walls. Mortars in the back just hanging out, which is cool. Franz taking some crossbow fire, nothing to write home about. But, you know, wh why are we afraid? We just go kill the Empire Captain. You can take the towers down. We're just going to blast the gate, though. Yeah. I mean, I know I can cheese, guys. I'm aware of that. Galmaraz has popped. So we'll do this, and that's good. All right, so the great swords are going to be just monster mashing into the gate for now. Oh, and it looks like it's open. Okay, so that's fine. It's kind of a weird thing. And they want to go fisticuffs, I think. Well, we'll just line up outside the walls for now. You know what? Actually, climbing, climbing the walls here wouldn't be bad, because like they have just mostly archers and like crappy units on the walls, so let's just do that. All right, and then these characters can kind of just wait here. Let's get our wizards here. Franz is just, just going just bananas on the walls. Just straight up Donkey Kong. And gunners, let's go ahead and line those guys up. The ram is like pushing in. And the Temple of Luminar can keep shooting here. Bronze, you get that character already? Let's go, let's, let's go buddy. All right, so we have a pit of shades as well, so let's just drop this back here. I probably should have overcasted that, considering how blob they are. Oh, pit of shades. Oh, that's pretty good. Not as good as a pendulum would have been, though. The pendulum here would, would track pretty good, so let's just cast a pendulum as well. And the gatehouse still isn't like... Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and get in there now. Franz, are you? Franz is just like punting this guy off the wall. There's all sorts of craziness is happening here. All right, so we have guys in the walls now, so they should be able to, you know, really cut cut into these uh, these guys defending here. The Temple Meme Luminarch has uh, looks like everything's good here, so let's get our wizards in there as well. Wizards can help out quite a bit. You see, the gatehouse is like I hate when the AI opens it and it, like kind of lets you trickle in a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead here, set you guys up behind the handgunners. Handgunners are hanging out. Okay, the gatehouse should be busted open now. No, it's still not. Okay, there's still still a stupid, bugging, crappy system there. All right, Franz. Oh my God, he still hasn't gotten this guy. Come on, man. Come on, Franz. He's 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 just he's like a cat playing with its toy. All right, so we have another pendulum here, or pit of shades. Let's actually overcast that if we can. Boom. All right, this guy's not worth it. We're just gonna come back here and start attacking wherever we want to. Uh, the cav units can surge in as well if you want. Great swords on the walls should be able to kind of outmuscle the uh, the opponent's great swords. Oh, why did that not cast? Did we get like knocked over or something? Oh, it's too close. Okay, so we'll just do a pendulum here. Great. So let's do that. Let's pull Boris von Gandalf back though, and Franz needs to come in and just like bust up this formation. We'll just have Franz get on that guy. That's okay. All right, he's gonna come in with Galmaraz pops or Helm of Discord, which would be pretty good. It's like the trailer, right? <laughs> this guy's just like shooting at the wall, just like just derping out here. All right, let's get our calf hammering in as well. Hey, darling, that's awesome. That is really good. And I just finished the clock. I'll show you guys at the end of the stream. I will. So we're gonna drop an earth blood here, and uh, you can just set it right there if it'll bounce. The calf are gonna surge in. The walls are ours, for the most part. Yeah, doesn't really matter too much. Carl Franz has broken the spirit of these uh, these 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 folk. Let's get our knights kind of riding them down. I mean, we could basically fast forward at this point; it doesn't really matter. Get the mortars going. The temple meme luminarch. I'm just gonna have it derping, just shooting at the towers here. Great swords are one and all the wall engagements. 
Yeah, most siege battles are pretty like unfun to play, in my opinion. Um, so you guys coming over here, just like riding these guys down. Bronze can just keep hunting. <laughs> Franz, the hunter of men's souls. Great swords in the wall of one, their fight. And let's get our hand gunners in here now. So we can just kind of position them in the back street. Franz, you want to cause some terror here? Oh, Boris von Gandalf, we got to bring you back in, buddy. Good heal here. Healing's really good in campaign because you can heal your armies before the end of the battle. And then, like, you won't have to worry about that replenishment in the campaign maps and things like that, which is great. So let's just get our haggard cav core and just cycle charge these guys into the shadow realm. These great swords, we should be able to hammer them down. Come on, Franz, let's break these guys up. Actually, just going for the leader's probably better. And the AI is just turtling, basically. Like, I, I would auto-resolve all these siege battles if I could. Alright, here comes another charge. Boom! Hammering into those guys. Hopefully we'll get the terror out here in a second, because we do, of course, have the uh, the Knights of Moor here. So we should be able to just swarm them with sheer numbers. Alright, so those guys are broken back, so let's go ahead and just keep charging. Franz goes here, Helm of Discord, a very, very good item. Handgun core, let's get you guys right here. Go, go, go. Push, push it, push it, push it. Push it real good. Bit of shades back there. Great. Victory is ours. And battle. Yeah, we took a little damage. It wasn't bad. But the fort battles are pretty cool. I actually like the forts much more. Uh, it, some of the, like that gate, you guys saw how annoying that gate thing was, right? Like they kept like opening the gate and like it's like made it attacking it was weird and like I couldn't get in even though the gate was open. Plus like the, my army style isn't great for sieges anyways, like bow units. So if you guys want to become the Dark Lords and become the best of the best and play on legendary, just like typically spamming bow units, camping on the out of line of side of the tower and just like shooting over with like crossbows or huntsmen, like you could just cheese the AI out of siege battles like all day. Um... But yeah, you see, that's the thing, like, that's the thing. <laughs> it looks like I might lose this. <laughs> Is that what someone said? Uh, it's not really worth sacking, to be honest, so we're just going to occupy it. Yeah. All right, so we don't need this here. We'll keep the economic building, which is fine. Marienburg is uh, paying the toll. Hey, you know what? We're just going to go down Red Tree. Yeah, I prefer the Red Tree. Oh, the Black Lions. Oh, and the all the good RORs are coming in. So what do we... This, this lone halberd, he's served us well, but I think it's time we get the uh, the Black Lion Hellblaster Wagon for Franz. Volkmar the Grim can have the Sunmaker. I think that'd be kind of fun. So we can uh, get rid of one handgunner, probably. No, we don't have enough. That's right, because we spent a metric ton of money here. All right, so we have a couple level ups as well on our, uh, our Life Wizard. Let's get that earth blood going. And Boris von Gandalf has leveled up once again. He's almost immortal. Oh, Pegasus is actually really nice because we can get those like really good angles for the spell casts. All right, and Spartacus is heading up north to deal with the uh, this accursed land. He's doing his thing here, and I think we're okay. Pass turn. Well, it's like I I, I kind of wish legendary difficulty was. I don't know. It's really hard to balance, though, you know, because like you can make the you can only make the battle AI so good, um, and like just having it have like public order penalties and like it gets kind of unfun at a certain point and becomes like really grindy, and that's why people are resorted to kind of cheesing it, right? Like like camping archers out of line of sight of siege towers and just literally like sitting there for like ten minutes, like you know, yeah, yeah. Gelt Gelt may get the Sunmaker someday, but Gelt isn't in action right now. So, dragon, yeah, dragon spam is really good for sieges. Yeah, you just fly on the walls and like breath attack them, and then like it's like flying units in general. That's why some of the vampire armies are really good because they start with vargeists and siege battles. Vargeists are so good; they can just like cleave the walls, and then like the AI can't get its stuff up on the walls to help, so the vargeists just like tear them to shreds. The Volkswagen train, yeah, you know, I don't know where we're gonna go with the Volkswagen though. Like we've already, I mean, I could just go all out war on my electors, but I'd rather not. I'm trying to be like thematic because basically I could just get one army and conquer each elector count and the empire would be mine pretty quick. You know, co-op campaigns, I think are a little bit boring. I don't know. Cause it's like, you're, if it's already easy enough to do well, you know, as with one, but like, if you have an ally, like I did one with Spartacus once and we did like one or two episodes and it just got so boring so quick. It's just like, we were just steamrolling, but head to head campaigns fun because like you can, 
you can see the the trolling you know like getting to control the AI armies is super fun actually I'll probably do another head-to-head -head campaign eventually uh, we will refuse the creature because we're not that desperate for money all right so is this just gonna be like a Skaven city or something okay I guess we'll just return it to the elector here what's his fealty to us right now which guy is this I mean, how, how is his fealty? Six? You know, we'll, we'll return it to him. That's fine. That's kind of what we're, we're doing anyways on this little mission here. All right, so Talion Spartacus has returned. I think he needs an upgrade. Like, his army's a little bit outdated, so we'll actually march him down to uh, Altdorf and <laughs> just pissing off Boris the whole way down. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and head down here. Talibheim here. We can actually uh, upgrade that, which is going to be helpful. The Black Pit. Let's go ahead and get some walls. I was wondering what the ticking sound was, and then I was like, oh, Anna has her new uh, clock that she made. Oh. Hey, thank you. Uh, I, I don't know how to read the name, but thank you, man. I appreciate the kind words. So, Lawlorn Forest, I think, is our next mission here. We have the Hellblaster Wagon. And that's it's just its own thing. Although maybe we go get this point first, so let's march out here and just deal. With, let's let's deal with this guy before he gets a little bit too ham bone for us. Well, not ham bone, but I don't want him like sniping territories and just being annoying. So, Altorf is uh, upgrading. We'll just get the. I almost want to just get the tap room so it'll stop asking me. Yeah, we'll get the uh, the Sunmaker, Volkmar shell, make it rain. Now Volkmar's army. Is there anything here I want to go deal with? I mean, I could go take these guys out. I could go to war with Bretonia with him. All right. All right, that's it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he enjoys the verse campaigns anymore. Uh, nothing we need to do here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our fealty. So we're at nine here. We're probably going to get get them pretty soon. Yes. And this guy, we might just... Toddy is like, just screw you. Go home. Seven, four, and then eight. Okay, so we're, we're pretty close. There may come a time when we have to, you know, fight some of the some of our allies there, which uh, would be a little bit sad, but, you know, you can't, you can't have everything in life. Let's go ahead and get the public order taproom here. Because this region, you know, the vampire regions are always a little bit problematic. We're stable here, and are we stable here? We are stable! That's really nice. So the witch hunter will stay only until he's needed. Franz has moved, uh, Volkmar's Mustache Legion. Where do we go with Mustachio, man, is the question. I mean, we could actually just have him march over here for now and take out this so we don't have to, like... Yeah. Oh, man, and then getting Marienburg would be so nice, too. So let's have Captain Mustache march. It's time he wets his, wets his beak in battle here. Or wets his stash. So he's going to head over there. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, I think we I think we fight Bretonia because it's like, unless they want to give us Marienburg, man, I, I don't I really don't want to fight Bretonia, like I want to have a united front of of men of the good, kind of fighting fighting back here. Anna, I heard it I heard your clock ticking and I didn't know what the sound was. I was like, what is that sound? I was like all confused for like two minutes. It is. It is the great plan. So, Volkmar could go on a crusade up north. Or south. Like, we have a, a lot of options here. I mean, I think Volkmar... Like, I want Marienburg back, for sure. Send him to Norska? <laughs> Just the... It makes sense, right? I mean, the Greenskins... The Dwarves are stomping the Greenskins in the south, alright? So, I don't think we need to worry about that. I mean, although it looks like a bit of a contested fight. So we could split off in three directions because worst case we do have a enough to uh to support. Yeah. Okay. Norsk Norska needs to pay. Yeah, you go to negative four imperial authority if you declare war on elector count. Yeah. That's not fun. But if you do decide to go that route, if you declare war on the elector counts, it on their remaining ones, it, it there's no other penalties aside from being at war with them. Send him to Lustria. So the Marienburg port, if I'm not mistaken, has been nerfed. 
I don't feel like going over to Lustria. Like, I kind of wish like the Mortal Empires just had this continent, you know, just for the sake of like turn times. Okay, so we will. Uh, Oslin wants to succeed. You see, there's something to be said about this because like. I mean, I could just go fight them, right? But yeah, you know what? I, I don't feel like raising arms against fellow Sigmarites, even though it might be the better play in terms of like strategic sense. It's uh, you know, they're my brothers. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it unless I have to. We're playing we're playing like a Sigmar bro theme in this campaign. All right, so we're gonna go here. What kind of an army do they have? I don't even care. Yeah. Oh, it's Emil again. Is there a garrison here? Folkmar should be able to reach them. So let's go here. Oh, oh, the Bretonians are like, hey man. Let's uh let's 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 play it nice here. Look at look oh the Bretonians are attacking the Norskins. That's pretty funny. Alright, so this region is secured. Uh, I mean I could sack it, but again, I don't think it's like I'm so rich now. So here, let's go ahead and get rid of this. We need to get some goodies for sure. And public order is okay for the most part. It's just a conquest penalty. So we'll take growth. Gotrak is just he's 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 with uh with one of the armies of men. So we want to get the honest deal. It's gonna be really, really good for what we're doing for our great swords and stuff. Alright, so that's been secured. Lawlorn Force is next. Up here we have uh Spartacus who can come back and I don't know. We we could have Sparty go like wage war in the north too. But I do need to have some defenders in the south. I feel like having Sparty defend the south is going to be a little bit better. So let's bring him back down here. Volkmar the Grim is going to have his first battle. I think sending Volkmar on a crusade is way more thematic, so we'll probably do that. We'll see how, we'll see how long his crusade lasts in the north here. Uh, so we could upgrade the temple here. I mean, what does it give us? Unlocks recruitment of warrior priests. Eh, it's just like... We don't really need that, you know. It's kind of one of those those frivolous frivolous things. All right, so we're going to keep getting our defensive infrastructure. We'll get this tap room. Let's get the gatehouse. You know, and just so it stops annoying me, I'm going to upgrade this. I know I don't I don't need to per se, but Folkmar the Grim is going to fight that battle. Uh, yeah, Felix is in the, Felix and Gochek are in the game. Gorsel here. Is he embedded in the city? Yeah, it looks like he is. What kind of a battle is this? Alright, so we're going to fight this. Because auto-resolve, I could honestly lose that, which is ridiculous. Uh, Turin, have you ever thought about doing more Battlefleet Gothic? I did a couple times, but the issue was, is like, I went to go play quick battles on Battlefleet Gothic, and there was like nobody there. I literally waited for like 20 minutes. But, you know, there's so much going on in Warhammer Total War. It's just, that's really the, the goodies. Yeah, I can't. I'll, I mean, if I do confederate with them, because Gochak and Felix, they're not supposed to be out until, uh, I don't know, in the next couple days, I think. Yeah. The winds are favorable. I mean, sure, let's let's risk it for the biscuit. So Volkmar's Unbreakable Crusade is going to be just burning through the witches. And by witches, I mean these traitorous curs here. Got our handgunners. We got our cannon core in the back. It's fine. I don't know where they're going to deploy, but it doesn't really matter. Three, Volkmar can be leading the charge of his uh, Sigmarites here. Oh, I accidentally put a handgunner there. That's pretty funny. Alright, that looks fine. And then the Cav will be split into two contingents. And three, and then five here for the Sunmaker up on the high ground. Let's rain some holy fire on these bad boys. Let's go. Alright, so the Sunmaker, let's start Let's start bringing some, some hot sun action here. And uh, we'll just snipe out the the Lord or whatever. It's fine. Out, the Knights of the Blazing Sun, I totally forgot to move them, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. We'll just get them ready to party. I mean, Volkmar's Flagellant Army would probably... Although there are great swords in here, so... Arguably, I should probably go after the great swords Instead of trying to snipe the Lord. <laughs> Let the sun... Oh, look at the Sunmaker! Oh! Oh! That's doing so much damage! That's doing so much damage. You know, Soul Blight's actually a really good combo with Flagellants, because Flagellants have, like, terrible AP, but... These Volkmar, these are no mere flagellants. These are the flagellants of Volkmar the Grim. You know, I really just shouldn't fight these guys. I should just, like, let my artillery pieces. <laughs> oh, frickin', he has the Reichland Rune Ping right now. That's so funny. Alright, so, well, anyways. 
Let's get the handgunners going after the great swords, obviously, because that's the uh, the prudent target here. But you know, Volkmar's Crusade waits for no man. I will show you the Knights of the Everlasting Light. Yes. So let's do the classic like multiplayer bait and switch where we like pull back our infantry and just charge in with our, our cav units here. Ah, for Sigmar! Go! 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 I'm gonna hammer into these guys here. The bait and switch! Here it goes! Yeah, Volkmar the Grim! So let's go ahead and drop Soul Blight here. I should have done it before the charge, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. So you guys going here. Sunmaker is obstructed now, which is unfortunate, but you know what? We'll shoot. We'll shoot wherever we can. We'll get the cannons going back there as well. Volkmar, you need to get in there, pop the Reichland Runefang. I need you to start spiritually. <laughs> Jesus. It's truly a crusade army, right? Just like sacrificing its own its own folks here. Uh, Knights of the Everlasting Light can just hammer back here. We'll get one of you guys coming back here as well. How's, how's our evil cackling master doing here? Pretty good. All right, great. Handgunners are still shooting away. We have some more flagellants in reserve. Let's pull them in. Just have to make sure we don't like lose characters like stupid stuff, you know? The double charge for Sigmar. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Knights of the Blazing Sun charge. Nothing like it. Knights of the Everlasting Light are coming in as well. Okay, I should probably like pay attention to some units so I don't just like have to re-recruit. So the Knights of the Everlasting Light, somebody wanted to see them. So they're like, yeah, they look like these like Golden Empire, these like Blue and White Empire Knights. Should be able to hammer that formation down. And as far as Spirit Leeches, let's go ahead and drop it on you again. And yeah, we'll just kind of keep shooting here. Actually, it is a city battle, so they're all going to get wiped anyways. See, like, I didn't have to take any casualties there, but... I feel like Volkmar wouldn't sit idly, right? And just like let that let that go. Alright, that's it. Damn, that Sunmaker did work. Maybe it got buffed. <laughs> Granted, the AI does buff up notoriously. But, you know, that might warrant a Sunmaker. A Sunmaker usage in the uh in the upcoming days of multiplayer. Lou and Leon Kerr is pretending to be an Elector Count. Volkmar must punish the non-believer. You know, that is that is true. He is he is holding an electorate, which... Uh, I don't know. Isn't the Chaos Invasion supposed to be really hard, though? Or is it kind of just, like, not really a thing? Man, that Sunmaker got 208 kills. Goodness gracious. That thing just went deep on those, those, those filthy rebels here. Marienburg has paid the toll. All right, so... I mean... Again, we're just going to occupy. doesn't matter. Uh, so we have a, a brine mine here, and then we can get rid of this and get defensive buildings. The so Volkmar is uh, leveled up. So the, the Mustache King is uh, is here. So he's going to go the Emperor's Finest because we want him to buff up his... Uh... Although I should have gotten the Grand Hammer of Sigmar, but it's okay. So Franz is, uh, for the most part, healed up. We've ha we have the pit. We have it. He's still doing his thing here. The castle can get its lumber mill upgraded. That's fine. I don't really care. Spartacus needs to keep heading back to Altdorf because, actually, you know what? With him, we can get. Yeah, we need some great swords for his army. Yeah, perfect. And uh, let's pass turn. Chaos invasion isn't that hard. Okay. So maybe the Sunmaker got buffed too. Yeah, that that like, that hit pretty hard. Like I know most of the targets were lightly armored, but. I'm mildly impressed with that, and I may want to try that in multiplayer now. The real well, I'm playing the short campaign because I don't feel like grinding for a year and like going to Nagaron to capture that and like just when it gets to the point where, as people have uh, articulated it very well, when you're painting the map, I feel like campaign loses its appeal. It's just kind of like there's no challenge anymore. It's just chasing down nuisances and things like that. Basically, we're gonna go for the short campaign victory. I don't know how many episodes that'll be, or I'm guessing like 140, 150, something in that range. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a few, I'll have a few good stacks. I mean, Volkmar's Crusade stack is okay. It's a little bit memey because it's not using, like, great swords and stuff, but look at these. I just hope the Dawi are winning the battle against the Orcs. That's, that's my, and it looks like they're having some problems. So, you know what? Spartacus could go purge the Orcs. Yeah, Bubba's big blast. Yeah, that's true. If they're, if I'm out of position, that's going to be the biggest issue. Chaos Invasion is actually more annoying when you're playing in Lustre or Ulthon. Yeah. I, I should have multiple stacks. I mean, I do, I think. I have, what? We'll probably get Balthazar Gelton army. The Gelt man needs a force. He'll he'll come out. 
they made Chaos weak until game three. Yeah, I mean, Chaos is okay. Chosen are still strong. I mean, coming with full stacks of Chosen is no joke. I can't wait to get the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank. We still haven't gotten that because we haven't confederated with those guys yet. Fealty should be going up soon. I'm, I'm really curious, actually, about Lawler and Forest. I'm excited to go do that. So hopefully you guys are ready for that action. All right, so the Entry War has uh, concluded here. We don't really, we don't really need this. Like, uh, we're we're fine. We're just gonna check in. Oh, okay, we'll take the uh, Imperial Authority for backup. Oh, cool. So Volkmar the Grim completed a quest I didn't even know about. So we're gonna go down here with Sparty. It's time to it's time to upgrade his army. And who cares about the attrition? It doesn't really matter. Aldorf, is there anything I want to upgrade here? I mean, the Colleges of Wizards. Is fine here. So Wrecker's point, we want to get a gatehouse because there could be some annoying Norskin raids. Volkmar the Grim. Now, Volkmar is, is the curious, he's the curious case here. So let's get a gatehouse here. Do we go and take back Marienburg? Now, the Bretonians, let's go ahead and see how their power is anyways. They kind of don't really like us anyways. I mean, their Bretonia is quite weak if you really look at them. They just have their starting province. Like, who who are they allied with even? So they're at war with Norska, and they have like a trade agreement. So I think, I think that Volkmar is going to go purge, purge the non-believers. You know, they made a mistake not following Sigmar, and uh, we'll make him pay for it. So Marienburg will be the first city to fall in Volkmar's crusade. Although we probably should heal up one more turn before we do that. So in camp stance requires fifty percent, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go here. We'll go ahead and encamp to make sure we keep re uh, replenishing, and then we'll uh, we'll consider that attack. So okay. So I think we have our our plan. Volkmar the Grim is going to secure Bretonia and these provinces, which will give us. We we do have to do that actually to win the campaign. If you guys take a look here at the short campaign, we have to uh, secure all of our electorates, like every single one. So we have no choice there. Um, and as far as like this chaos, like that that probably won't be too bad. So he'll do that. Spartacus will come down here and upgrade his army. And then he can start going in the north, and then we'll recruit Balthazar Gelt soon and get him kind of handling business elsewhere. So Franz, Franz may, oh no, Bretonia actually has like haggard armies up here too. Okay, so they, they have stuff we need to respect, but the Pack Ice Bay we could actually take and that'd be cool. But let's go ahead and just head on over here into March Dance. Yeah, I want to get as close as I can. Although, oh no, I forgot about this base. Damn it. Okay. Oh, there's still one one freaking annoying base there. Ah, oh, man. That's annoying. I hate when I forget shit like that. All right. So Marienburg is fine. We're going to go get that eventually. Everything's upgrading here. Castle Templehof. We can get an upgraded tap room so we don't have issues with public order. We really don't need that Reichsguard building there or that infantry building here. Let's actually just demolish that and get something a little bit more economically useful. Fort Jacoba. I mean, we could upgrade it, I guess. Screw it. We'll just get some walls there. Eventually, we may come into uh, come into the goodies here. So Castle Templehof. We're 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 secure here, I think. So this witch hunter can go join. Uh, can head over here and join this army. <sighs> These freaking southern cities are just so so obnoxious. Yeah, damn it, damn it. I got too excited to take out Lawlorn Forest. Raid into rebelling and let the rebels take it. Yeah, the rebels. The rebels will take it eventually, anyways. I don't. I don't need to make any effort for that. Those southern cities. It's just like new to the stream. What are those purple red units? The purple and red units are the. Uh, if if I'm if it's what I'm thinking you're talking about, it's a, a new elector count unit. So basically, each elector electorate of the empire comes with a unique unit once you bring them to heal. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's really fun, and you can actually have multiple. So you can have like entire stacks of like ROR tier units which is really strong. Yeah, they're special unit rewards for taking unique provinces or confederating, depends on how you want to do it. Yeah, there's there's wars on multiple fronts. I think that the dwarves should be able to handle the greenskins. Typically, dwarvish AI is very strong. And greenskins are more haggard, but oh no. Shady face smasher. He's damaging the, my walls, dude. How dare they, man? So we'll take Lawlorn Forest here in just a minute. 
And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll save the Bretonian War for the next episode. I'm not sure. I know I always say I'm going to go two hours, but then these just end up going so balls deep. Like three hours they've been, I think. The next episode or the next stream will be on Wednesday. It seems like people enjoy this one a lot more than my Marcus Wolfhart campaign, so we'll probably just focus more so on this one. All right, so Toddy. They've ended their non-aggression pact? Oh, God. Am I going to have to fight the Toad? I mean, I'm a Todd bringer, bro. I was just like giving you territories back. Yeah, I don't mind the border princes. That's fine. We can, we can. They're friends with the dwarves, so we can have a non-aggression pact with them. You know, I have a feeling Todd bringer might declare war on us, which is, uh, I guess, lore friendly. But we'll we'll crush him if we have to. I really wanted to. So we might have to actually hold off in the Bretonian War for now. All our enforce is like. Oh, they want a non-aggression pact. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be funny to team up with them and just like take out Toddbringer together? <laughs> Have come elves, help us deal with this difficult elector count. It's not my fault. I didn't I didn't do that. You know, I'm all about the I'm all about the family here with the Empire, but Council of Electors. So now we can actually get the uh, the Runefang pact, which gives us one fail with all electors, which will actually uh, allow confederation with uh I believe we have nine with uh with these guys here with Sterling, so it's pretty cool. All right, so let's go here. Boom. Let's get rid of some of these guys. And we don't really... I mean, I'd rather just keep the crossbows for now, I guess. Crossbows are quite useful. But we'll eh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this one because it doesn't have chevrons. And now we're going to recruit some great swords. We got to, like, get ready for, like, heavily armored chaos armies, right? All right, so... Todd, the Todd... I don't want to start too many wars at once. Todd is like, I think Toad. Toad's like, he's got problems, man. But if I, I think if I declare war on him, it becomes a bit of an issue because, what does the garrison look like at Lawlorn Forest? Thankfully, Franz is like right in the middle of his like his his business. So like, if he does decide to go a little bit sneaky, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold off on the Bretonian conquest for now, not for long. I mean, just for like literally like a turn. And Volkmar the Grim is just gonna like bro charge up here. Ah. He's going to take this city. Yeah, it's just like a weak garrison. So Volkmar will secure that, which will be nice. And, I mean, does Toddy have any good stacks? It seems like he just has a bunch of annoying things. It's very true. It's going to it's gonna hurt him quite a bit more than it's going to hurt me. So we're pretty good on economy, honestly. I don't need to start marshalling another force for now. So let's go into regular stance here. Man, sacking value is 15,000 here. I just don't want to, like, take a beating and then have Todd just, like... So, declare war on Elector Count. So, if I declare war, I lose an Imperial Authority. Which sucks. So, like, Todd is just, like, this thorn in my side until he decides to, to uh, declare war on me. So, let's move over here. For now. Oh, my God. That's a garrison. That is a garrison. Oh boy. Okay. So maybe we just leave Lawlorn Forest for now. I mean, we could probably win it, but it'd be a bloody fight. And then I feel like the Toad will backstab us. So what we'll do is we'll just go hang out and like... Let's go hang out by the Todd. Oh my god, Toddbringer City is just... He's just surrounded by Elvish agents and they're just like shanking him like... Oh, oh man. World Cup will probably be starting next month. Alright, so we're good here. Spartacus is recruiting. We have a metric ton of money, so we might as well just get the get the goods here. What does this give us? You know, okay, so it gives us more recruitment capacity. Let's see if there's anything more important here we want to do. We'll upgrade the walls at Castle Templehof. Everything's looking good and tasty. Eshin, uh, yes, we have this new building here. That's right. Paved roads are always fun. Maybe we'll just upgrade the roads here. Does it stack? It probably does. Oh, Weaving House. Silly me. We haven't upgraded down here in a while, so uh, Gelt can get some new walls, so it's fine. Again, I don't think we really need the, the weapon school, but and these annoying cities in the south can just pay their dues for now. Toddbringer's probably going to declare war on us. Well, yeah, I'm trespassing, but I'm. <laughs> it's for a cause, all right? I'm not just trespassing to troll him. I'm trespassing to remove threats from his region. Does he not understand this? 
Yeah, I'm trying to bait the Todd. I could start raiding his territories too. It's so funny. It's like, it's it's like you know if you have to like cause a conflict, but you don't want to be the one to start it. It's like just like taunting your opponent just enough. Like, oh, look, I'm just raiding outside your capital. Oh. If you destroy Todd, you're not going to have him as a lord. I know. But Toddbringer is like, he ended our agreement. He's not happy. I, I am trespassing. But again, I've tried to get, I've tried many times to <laughs> total. Oh my God, look at this. So the biggest issue, the trespassing is an issue, but it looks like the great power. The great power is the biggest issue with Todd. Like negative 50 there. Oof. He is a difficult elector count. Oh my God, there's this little freaking gremlin here. Oh, did he critical failure? He just blew himself up. Oh, what a goblin. Use prestige to lower your relations with him to provoke him. That's actually a pretty funny idea. Honestly, I think he's going to do it on his own. Man, that, that Wood Elf Garrison is nasty. If we could pull them into open field, it'd be a pretty easy fight. But, like, the big tree. Come on, Toddy. Come on, Toddy. Show your true colors. <laughs> come at me, bro. Yeah, I know. It is a very it is a very come at me, bro situation. So Midland and uh, Lawlorn Forest have become allies. I will get the forest eventually. I will be going into Bretonia as well. Volkmar the Grim is going to be having a Bretonian Crusade in the next episode. Again, we're just trying to secure our imp Imperial provinces here. So Volkmar is going to be securing this one here. God, I really want to attack Toddy. Blessings of Sigma. Please, please give me a friendly auto resolve here, please. Oh, why? God. You know what? Let's just continue the siege for now. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if they sally out and engage me the next turn. Oh, the beast. The beast. Oh, there's a beastman army here. Is this actually a beastman army or a neutral army? That's the jagged horn tribe. Summon the elector All right, so we'll give you the mace of hellstrom. Why not? Give you a trinket. It's been a while since I've I've upgraded these guys. <laughs> Given them anything. He's leveled up as well, so we'll get an earth blood maxed out. All right, so the Todd hates us. My hand hovers close to my blade. My hand hovers closer to my blade. Utter your demands before I raise it. All right, I feel like the Todd and I are at the point of no return. So let's go ahead and experiment. I really like that suggestion you have. So let's go ahead and go to Midland <laughs> to decrease relations. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, Toddy, good, good, Anakin. <laughs> All right, so let's do it one more time. All right, so we just we just decreased relations twice with those guys. <laughs> oh, Middenheim's here. That's Boris's army, which is pretty pitiful. And I could raid, but raiding does put me... Uh, I'm just going to go and ambush dance, like, who cares? I'm really curious to see what's going to happen here. <laughs> I hope he just declares war next turn. He does have an army here, but Altorf has a pretty fat garrison, of course. So I'm just going to keep hoarding money for now until I, you know, don't need to anymore. And uh, this army's okay. I think we could lighten up a little bit on the Pistoliers. And is there anything ROR-wise I want to recruit? I mean, we could get those haggard spears, but I think just getting the huntsman will be cool. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think Sparty's army is going to be pretty solid now. It's going to have skirmishing. It'll have pretty good infantry core. Uh, it does have a wizard as well. Yeah, it has that, that life wizard there, which is nice. The witch hunter is coming back over. He could embed in the army. So let's go ahead and do that. Volkmar the Grim is sieging this settlement. Like, I don't want to fight a walled battle there. Oh, it's just a gatehouse. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's still see if they just... Attack, that's fine. We'll just we'll siege them for one more turn. So Toddy hates me a little bit because I've been I've been trespassing, but it's not just that. It's uh Oh, look at that, we got some resources there. And you know, we haven't really evaluated how the Greenskin War is going. The Black Crag would be a nice one to take. It looks like the dwarves have been able to retake their 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 hill peaks. Yeah. Okay, so the dwarves seem to be good. They have like full stacks. I think they'll beat the Greenskins. So we can pretty much ignore the south then. We're also researching the uh, the Runefang Pact, which is going to give us plus one fail T, which will instantly trigger the uh, the confederation with uh, Ostermark here. Oh no, they actually went down to eight for some reason. Not sure why. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, Marienburg will come to uh, come to us as well. And uh, don't need to worry about that. Carl Franz is 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 trying to have a, a cockfight with uh, Toddy. Volkmar the Grim is going to be going to take out this place, hopefully. Yeah, let's let's see if they they sally out to attack us. If they don't sally forth, we'll attack them. We'll do it. You underestimate their power. I don't know. The Sunmaker will solo this. That raider is Gotrek and Felix. <laughs> yeah. It's Gotrek and Felix have just been raiding and trundling for like a year. The thing is, the Bretonians are kind of in the north crusading a little bit. And there's no rush to really smite them, so... Volkmar will deal with this. You know, I could honestly have Spartacus go take out the uh, Bretonians as well, but if, if that's the case, I might want to change his army from crossbows to handgunners. The Tomb Kings have performed the Great Incantation to Kassar. Sandstorms have engulfed their territory. Foreign armies will suffer attrition. All right, that's fine. There's been a lot of uh, treachery this this, uh, this this campaign. A lot of treason. The Bretonians sail back. Come on, Marienburg. Come on, come out and fight. Don't do it. Don't make me attack you. I will do it. Yeah, they're probably not gonna sally out though. I mean, I'll be able to smash their armies. I will hear your petition, oh. but peace treaty. Yeah, what, what, what's the benefit for me? And then Nordland is unfriendly. Oh, oh, Nordland is kinda pissed off too. I think it's because I've been trespassing up here. Let's see, no, great power. Okay, so apparently this is like, I trespassed a little bit against them, but... Oh, and they like Midland also. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, this is actually kind of convenient because then Franz can just secure all the... If they declare war on me, it's not a big problem because I can actually then just secure those territories faster than I could while also maintaining my Imperial authority because if they declare on me, I don't think it matters. Is it possible to have an army with 19 Empire captains? I don't know. It's a, it's a good question. I'm literally just sitting outside of Toddy's base. He won't declare war on me, though. United against us, the Doomseekers. Oh, okay. okay. Ambush foiled. God, I really just want to go after this guy. But he just won't. He won't, like... I could improve relations with them using some diplomatic measures, but what do they even have? They just have those two bases. And now, let us let me see how the other electors are affected. I mean... They don't seem to care too much. Nuln is is. Let's talk. Let's see how these guys. I mean, they like me. They don't really care. See, it's just great power. Like none of the southern kingdoms really care. It's just it's just those guys. All right, so I guess we'll do this. We'll do it to it. Yeah, that's fine. God, it's a freaking siege battle though. Jesus. That's like an annoying army too. Let's let's finish the rest of our turn and then we'll come back to that. So everything's fine there. Middenheim, I don't want to be the one to declare war because if I do that, I'm pretty sure it it's going to be a problem. Toddy should hate us. Yeah, 86 now. <laughs> we should be at war relatively soon. And I'm ready to pounce, bro. I am so ready. The Great Swords are recruited. So let's go up to Altdorf. Because now he can, he can pounce across the river and, and secure these territories. I think it's time to get a fourth stack going. So can we recruit handgunners here? Do we want to is the question. I think handgunners might be better for what's to come. Yeah, so let's let's go ahead and ship the crossbowmen for now and get some handgunners. Cool. They're just so much better against armor. Toddy won't love me enough to confederate. Yeah, Toddy is just, he's just a hateful... Uh, I understand though. He's a strong independent Toddbringer. He's not, you know, he's not taking no shit from no one. I mean, I guess we'll just get this. Screw it. Just because Gelt will be recruiting stuff down there eventually anyways. We could recruit Gelt, but I'm really enjoying this economy. That's fine. Yeah, we'll get Gelt. So Gelt, let's go and take a look at his tree here to see what he has. Okay, so he's got most of his items equipped. All right, so it's decent. He's got his quest battles done, and he's got some decent abilities, actually, in his magic tree. So that's cool. Now, for local recruitment, we'll get some great swords, which is fine. Uh, I forget what his abilities are in campaign. Let's go and take a look. Missile damage for artillery and... Okay, that's pretty good. So we'll make sure to get artillery for him as well. 
Tattersouls can now be recruited into Volkmar's army as well. So Altorf is preparing for war. We'll go ahead and get the uh, the Colleges of Magic. It's fine. Might as well spend our money while we have it. Franz is just hanging out being a troll. Come on, Toddy. So if I raid, my army's winded, right? But I mean, what what is it? What are they going to do? What are you going to do, buddy? We're going to raid you. All right. My hand has been forced. My hand has been forced. The Bretonians were still cool with. They're actually, you know, coming up. Coming up in the world. But basically, we secure this northern, like, very difficult pocket of the empire. The south is going to be uh, hopefully confederating with us soon because of our uh, treaties and whatnot. And uh, we should be able to take take this with Volkmar's mustache. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like waiting. God, that garrison is not even that good, though. It's just like halberds and... Well, I guess we have a ton of cannons, so we can just blast the walls, too. Yeah, yeah, I got plenty of money. I, I think at this point it's kind of redundant. So I'm probably just going to max out Balthazar Gelt's army with great swords, a ton of artillery, and uh, we'll get some good wizard action going on with him as well. Yeah, uh, the letter, Stahlberg's letter is currently on my witch hunter, who was, uh, he was purging corruption in Sylvania. He, he's basically finished his job, though. All right, so let's do another amazingly fun siege battle. So let's go ahead and do this here. Sunmaker, we're going to have it on fire at will for now. And we'll have you in the center here. Flagellants. Flagellants are pretty good for siege battles. They're not bad. Let's do this. And then the handgunner core can be in two. Mustache man will be here. I mean, at least he's getting some experience, you know? And then three and four. And then we'll put the cannons in five. Start deployment. And uh, let's go ahead and just track these towers. All right, so we're going to march over the main army. So let's go ahead and do this. These guys can go. Handgunners can go. Knights can go. Nate McBrady, the Legion of Stash rides. It does. Volkmar's Crusade is... It's going. It's going. And how are we doing against this tower here? The Sunmaker can start shooting in. I don't know how well it'll do against walls, but let's actually try it. So we'll shoot some handgunners here. Because handgunners will hurt pretty bad. So let's actually stay out of their range for now. Pull the cab back. Yeah, we don't want to give up the free volleys. That's that's pretty mean little garrison. Oh, no. I got to plug in my laptop, guys. So I won't be able to see chat for just a second, but I'll be back in just a moment. Hey, that actually hits the gatehouse, too. So that's pretty good targeting. Yeah, the crossbows are hurting, so let's let's just pull back a little bit. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. So we'll fast forward here while we methodically take out the walls. Come on, kill that. Hammer the Wishes should be able to do that. Great, so we'll shoot this one now, which is fine. Just the towers are shooting us. All right, you know what? Screw this. Why am I being careful? It doesn't matter. And the gatehouse is pretty much almost destroyed from the uh, Sunmaker just, just going balls deep on it. I mean, I'm going to take damage, but we're going to win this battle, so... Uh, we can send you guys around the side, actually. And these guys can go right up the pipe. So the Flagellants can go at the Gatehouse. 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 I, sh I could be cheesing again and just, like, running in a very narrow formation, but it's not necessary. So the other tower should be going down here soon. Volkmar's little crusade is going to waddle at this gate here. Get in there, Volkmar. Show them the might of your mustache. Sunmaker is still doing work. Still shooting at the walls. We'll get the crossbow in. And these calves will actually just go hammer this gate, and then that's going to allow me to kind of flood into this back of the city. Having a big, like, haggard flagellant blob will be pretty good, too. So that tower's done. The tower's done. Oh, we could just start shooting up the walls, I guess. Uh, yeah, if I'm actually able to get some... I wish I had a purple sun, and that'd be really strong. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. Volkmar's army should be able to cleave through these guys pretty good. So come, come my fellow mustached warriors. Hang gunners and company can get ready to party. I probably should have just climbed the walls to be honest. Yeah, no, it's okay. So these guys will be in soon. Oh, can they actually get in right now? Oh, the gates have been left open it would seem. Spears have, the spears have come down so we'll pull back for a moment. So Volkmar's haggard crusade marches on. The deathcaster needs to be careful though. Uh, is there anything we want to spirit leech here? I mean, I, not really. We'll just save our winds of magic for now. Mortars and company, so let's get you guys a little bit closer. Yeah, we should have had them climb the walls, probably. Let's have you guys climb the walls. You guys climb the walls here. Because, like, we only need so much grinding here. Volkmar the Grim can pop this as well. His wagon would be very, very useful here. So let's see if we could juke out these spears, pull them into open field. 
Yeah, that's per that's perfect. That's what we want. And the fraudulents can climb the or the handgunners can climb the walls there as well. Should be secured. Use a soul blight here. It's not going to be super useful, but it's not still something. All right, so some spears looks like they were they were thinking about coming out. But they're all braced and everything. I don't feel like losing these guys to spears, so let's just pull them around. Those mortars back there are hurting. Come on, mustache squad. Grind it out. Are they, like, not even fighting? It looks like you guys are just, like, kind of pushing in but not fighting. Okay, Sigmar sends up on the walls. Should be doing some uh, good work. And is there anything else I want to focus here? Actually, we could just shoot the outriders down there. That's probably better. Those guys can hang out there. Man, the crossbowmen on the walls are actually trying to leave me pretty good. Come on, Volkmar. Oh my god, this is such a grind. I mean, my stats are way better, and Flagellant should beat Spearmen, so... Spirit. Am I going to have to like start Spirit Leeching Spearmen? <laughs> Alright, the cannons are shooting in, doing some damage to Outriders, which is good. Oh, I hate siege battles. So annoying. Knights of the Blazing Sun, let's just get you guys hanging out and partying. Sigmar Sun's in company. And now I'm going to have some guns on the walls, which can actually start shooting down. Because the Sigmar Sun should be able to stabilize it. Let's get you guys back as well. Have you start climbing the walls there. God, an AoE spell would be so so righteous right now. Are there still spears defending here? This gatehouse? Well, that gate is not, not even really damaged. Come on. The grind continues. And do those flagellants fall back? Those are Sigmar Suns. These flagellants are going to climb here. Which is going to be good. I should have just climbed the walls. I would have already, like, probably been pretty close to victory here. I mean, I could run over here. It's a little bit risky because I don't have any support, but... Let's just have them go here and start shooting whatever they can, really. Come on, Mustache Man. Let's drop some Soul Blight. I mean, lowering the armor of those guys does matter. And again, guys, I can't see chat right now, so my apologies. Um, is there any way I could get some, draw some decent line of sight here? I guess Sunmaker can just start nuking these guys back here. And the cannons, let's start shooting at, uh, you know, whatever we can get back here. I don't know if we're even going to be able to get line of sight. Great, so we're getting some shots up from the wall here. Flagellant's climbing the wall is going to be a pretty big difference maker as well. You guys just hug the walls, hug the walls. <laughs> Marienburg goes out with a final death thrust of, of just being a nuisance. And the cannons, are they shooting? No, they're still line of sighted, unfortunately. Uh, we can actually draw a line of sight here, probably. Crossbows, let's just keep juking them out. Let's just run over here. Come on, Volkmar, how's your mustache crusade going? Oh, I think there's a heroic character in there. No, there's not. Alright, Reichland Rune Fang will help. The flagellant meat grinder. Just a bunch of angry shirtless dudes for Sigmar here. Well, the handgunners have a good, good position at least. They're, they're doing some damage. And the cannons, I think, are shooting once more. So you guys on the walls, which is good. Volkmar needs to get re-engaged to give his presence to these guys. Oh. <laughs> God, this is so, so miserable. <laughs> All right, Flagellants. No, you guys stay on the walls. Don't go down there. What are you guys doing? You keep, keep, keep doing some work here. So let's get you two and have them go right there. That side shooting should be pretty good. That side pressure. I mean, I could pull in Cav, but it's mostly Spears and Halberds, so I think just kind of waiting here with them is better. Volkmar, you need to get in and lead your people. And the Sunmaker is still. Is it shooting even? Oh, it's great. It's like freaking stupid line of sight on the sieges. It sucks so bad. I could put them in guard mode, which would be helpful. All right, there's still spears kind of defending there. Handgunners have gotten down, so now they can start blasting. Just whatever they can see, really. Our flagellants are getting really trashed, though. Oh my goodness. Soul Blight here would be helpful. A spirit leech the halberds once again. Volkmar, keep doing your thing. I'm almost tempted to just jam the knights in there. All right, Flagellants, get them get them off the walls. Oh, Sunmaker, you suck. Cannons, you suck too. All right, so we're still taking some shots. We should be able to win this. If not, that would actually be really funny. If we have to, if, if I just fail that that horribly. All right, so let's see here. Are they? Do they still have spears over there? They do. They're, those spears are really beat up. I could probably just brute force them down, to be honest. 
Alright, let's just do this. It's fine. Let's go around. Volkmar's taking a lot of damage. We need to pull him back. Let's go ahead and Spirit Leech these guys down. Halberds are probably the best Spirit Leech target. Handgunners are shooting. Are you guys even shooting? Why are you not shooting? Like, shoot these guys nice and good, like, yes. I don't know, like, I had them positioned there, but they just weren't shooting for some godforsaken reason. Alright, Mustache Man, let's get you back in business. The flagellants, they, they grow tired, but you know what? Their dedication to Sigmar is tireless, so it's nice. Let's go ahead and still bite these guys once more. Yeah, the guns here on the side are going to be good. I need to turn on the, the freaking chat again. Alright, so the handgunners on the walls are shooting, which is nice. The cannons are falling back because they're just inept. Let's go ahead and just start shooting those guys. These guys will start taking the gatehouse on. Reichland Runefang will help the remnants of our troops. Finally, they're starting to break! Oh. <laughs> break them! Break them for Sigmar! <laughs> Shoot the spears! Look, the cannon crews are coming! All right, let's have the cannon shoot here. We're going to put all these guys in guard mode. It usually keeps them from moving. Sometimes it's like kind of weird and doesn't, but... Oh, Marienburg, Marienburg, Marienburg. You guys are just uh, a thorn in my side. Looks like they've resecured the walls. You know what? Actually, bombing the walls with the, the Sunmaker here is probably going to be the best bet. Sigmar Suns can pull back so we don't lose them in their entirety. And the handguns can keep shooting back here. Our cav are on the gates. Hey, at least we still have a, a fair amount of flagellants, you know. Fun Volkmar. Get back there. Another Spirit Leech is going to be going, so we'll just do it on these, some of these spears here. It's fine. doesn't really matter too much. Free Company Militia are broken. What do they even have up here on the high ground? Just their lord and... This army is not well designed for siege battles. Oh my goodness. I mean, I played it pretty poorly too, but... I, I guess I just didn't give the computer any respect. Flagellants definitely take a beating, despite having pretty good stats. Alright, so we've gotten through the main gate, which is nice, so let's go ahead and intercept these guys. Actually, we can run over in this direction, and then pull them into uh, some, some fire. So let's do this. The gates are almost down there, which is fine. Sunmaker's out of ammo, which is great. And we'll spirit leech these guys if we can. Let's get the gun squad going here. Let's put them in guard mode so they keep shooting regardless. Now, having the cab here would be nice, but my positioning this game has just been horrible the whole time. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we want to shoot at. I mean, I guess we'll just shoot at the guy on the walls. Well, the Flagellants should be able to win this, and even if they don't, they're really cheap, so we can just recruit more. So let's go ahead and drop a Soul Blight here. Volkmar the Grim should have his uh, Reichland Rune Bank coming up, too. Yeah, 41 seconds. Still got some time. Shoot some archers. If we can. Get you guys down there to avoid those halberds. The cannons are still shooting up in the walls. I guess we'll just shoot these crossbowmen. <laughs> Come on, break them for Sigmar! The gates are almost down! Oh, Volkmar the Grim! <laughs> at least there was an epic siege battle in this campaign, right? In this episode. Alright, Volkmar, you need to be careful at this point. We need to, like, run back and... Come on, don't friendly fire Volkmar, I swear. Oh no, he's broken! Oh no, he's broken! <laughs> Where is he gonna go? Well, at least the flagellants won't break, right? Come on, get in there! Get in there! 192! <laughs> oh, come on, 138! Get away from those spears! Don't friendly fire Volkmar! Don't do it! Ah, the crusade is in! It's like a theme battle, right? You, now now the, the back line gets swept, right? Okay, Vamp Volkmar should be fine now. I'm gonna, I'm probably, I was gonna go AFK during this and actually freaking organize the, uh, Alright, so the handgunners have secured their position. Let's bring them up here for now, where they can shoot at the walls. Cannons, let's have you guys just shoot at whatever's up here that you can hit. These flagellants, oh my god. True patriots of Sigmar, to say the least. Let's go ahead and guard mode those guys. Oh my god, Volk the Grim died! Oh my god, he died, guys, did you see that? Oh, Jesus. What does he have up here? Yeah, some, some knights. We need to just ride through them. Oh my god, this is so miserable. The last of the flagellants. We should probably pull you guys back. Just the most brutal attrition. What do we even have out here? Oh, we have we have the Sunmaker crew. Let's have them go get down and dirty. So we need to just ride into the archers here and just, just row him them. Our caster is broken as well. 
Shoot this Empire captain. It's a disaster! I'm like, oh God, my army was so much better too. Alright, here we go. Let's go, boys. The Knights of the Everlasting Sunlight. Good. Should be able to just wreck Shrek through most of their forces now with cycle charging. We need to just break these guys if we can real quick. Go. Like, the cannons are just so useless. Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to have to row him, these guys, so we'll probably just fast forward just for the grind. Oh, these are actually Huntsmen. Oh, all right. That kind of explains things. So let's go ahead and just push through here, get a little charge. Which is good. It's going to take a while to kill their heroic characters, though, is the only problem. We might want to just, like, pull them in open field. I think we have a couple flagellants just on the walls, just trolling. Where's our wizard? Okay, he's back here. That's fine. So we'll just go after the general of the Empire, I suppose. He'll, he'll go down eventually. Come on. Knights of the Everlasting guys do give us that the lowering of the stats of nearby enemies. Oh yes, the bounce of power is finally coming for us. Alright, so we should be able to shoot the cannon into the halberds if they push up the hill. And yeah, the, I think the lord here is going to falter. Shake in. Knights of the Everlasting badassness are holding. Oh my god, can we kill this guy, please? Yeah, Spirit Leech. In our moment of need. That Spirit Leech is actually really huge. <laughs> it's actually really big. Alright, so that Spirit Leech should should seal the deal. Although he's still, he's still going somehow. <laughs> this is like the catastrophe. You know, the Crusade deserves epic battles like this, though. Alright, so the Empire Captain here is doing his thing. Winds of Magic is still still, still something. So we can actually get our artillery and shoot. Probably shoot here. So let's pull back and just run down some of the troops on the periphery. Because now we actually have to start like playing playing it kind of careful. Oh my god, oh my god, don't, 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 don't. No, 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 <laughs> no, bad cavalry. No, you're so healthy, why are you running? Oh god. All right, let me plug in the laptop. Hold on. Here we go. Laptop's coming back online so you guys can see all the memes. Okay, let's go ride down these archers. Oh my god. Oh, and our wizard's back. There's there's, there's hope. Come on. Come on, wizard. You're, you're a wizard, Harry. Oh my god. Okay, you guys ready for this? Our artillery are literally moving into the city. For the final showdown. Da -da -da -da. Oh, we need the Sunmaker crew too. Hold on. Bring him down! <laughs> Bring him down, dudes! Bring him down! This is awesome! All right. So we need to layer our <laughs> layer our siege to tactics. All right. So where's the last one? The last one can come over here. Come on, Sunmaker crew. Where are you guys at? You're outside the city. Okay, they're they're broken. They're gonna break. They're gonna break. Blast them in the face! Shoot them! Okay, they're broken. Let's go here. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. So the Sunmaker, maybe we want to get it over here. No, we don't have time. We gotta go this way. I wish I could see what was happening here. Alright, so let's drop the equipment. Oh, it's back online! Yes. Okay, okay, cannons. Sunmaker crew, show us why you guys are regiments of renown, heroes of the Empire. Come on. The flagellant's just getting grinded at the gates, just <laughs> into the Shadow Realm. All right, here we go. Let's turn here. Let's turn here. We're going to have to, like... I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, I guess the, the, the bows shooting us isn't, like, the worst thing in the world. The Sunmaker crew have pretty good stats, actually. No, Oh, no, they don't. That was someone else. Okay, so the Great Cannon crew needs to run. Let's shoot them to you guys. The Sunmaker crew do, does their thing there. Layers upon layers. Oh, army losses! Well, alright, so we'll be back. <laughs> Flank him with the cannons! That was a really funny battle, but man, our flagellants did not do well there. And it was my fault. I should have climbed the walls earlier and just cleaned up the bows, but I just arrogantly thought I could grind through the gates. Guys, we have to cycle charge with the cannon crews. Well, we did a siege battle and uh, it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah. It didn't go well, but I think Volkmar's wounded, but we could actually just replace him with a nearby army. 
<laughs> we'll replace him. <laughs> Who's gonna get Volkmar's? They yeah, did well, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was. I just let my flagellants grind in the gate, which was stupid. All right, so we'll give. Oh wait, don't we have someone else we could recruit? No, we don't. We'll just do the monster hunter. Okay, so if they come out and fight us now, we could actually win this. So what we'll do is we'll recruit the Death Jacks. And uh, is there anything else I want to recruit? How did my character level up? Oh, trust me, I still do think campaigns, uh, the AI is predictable, but if you underestimate them, they can get you sometimes. So, oh, Aspect of the Dread Knight would have been really good there. Let's actually get that. So as far as recruiting other stuff goes, I don't think we need to worry. We'll just like go back and attack them next turn. The AI has turned the tables. They now have the high ground. All right, so let's go ahead here and see what we want to do. We're just waiting for war with Toddy, basically. And uh, what do we want? I guess we could just like stack regiments of renown with this army. Yeah, I know. Well, I know sieging cheese battles or cheesing siege battles is, is good, but it's just so boring. If you cheese, we would have gotten a glorious battle. Yeah. Well, if I had just attacked the walls with the flagellants instead of like sending them into a gate grind, because I assume that Volkmar's buffs would like get them through, and they have really good stats too. But I mean, flagellants just yeah, I should have just got great swords with his army. Uh, I shot down the towers. Yeah, the cannons like were pretty inefficient there. I, I was shooting at the walls for quite some time. I mean, there's a lot of little things I could have done better, but it's okay. Heroic Marienburg making their last stand. That's right. That's the proper way to look at it. Ungram Iron Fist. Oh, a trade agreement. That's yeah, fine. We'll take that, brother. Oh, we'll trade with the dwarves all day. The tables have turned indeed. The mightiest of foes we've encountered yet in the campaign, the Marienburg garrison, will be forever be forever be remembered. Oh, you can destroy the actual walls? Oh, I didn't even know that. You see, that's the thing. It's We're on very hard, Stephen Bell. I didn't even know you could destroy the actual walls. You see, that's how little I play campaign. Yeah, and go through the actual gap. Well, that would have changed everything. God damn it. <laughs> that's so frustrating. How did I not know that? I've seen it before, too, when I watch other people's campaigns. Yeah, no, I'll get more in the red tree. I'm going to keep the flagellants. Volkmar will be back. Yeah, clumping them up was suboptimal for sure. I just it, it foolishly thought the AI would just crumble, but or the the blob would get through. But alas, they did not. All right, so here we go. Confederation with Bretonia. Salt. Just all this nonsense. So Volkmar will be ready in a couple turns. How's how are they looking here? I mean, the garrison's got to be pretty beat up too. We might have to bring the emperor to deal with this one. So we'll just go down here. This will remain Volkmar's army. Uh, we'll just go and uh, recruit some some stuff here at the. Uh, I guess we got to go back to Altdorf, yeah. And Toddy's going to declare war eventually. But what we'll do in the meantime is we'll get Franz, and we'll march him over there and just have him deal with that uh, that city. And then uh, for this wizard, what do we want to get? Mine razors, pretty good. It is I live. Life wizard has leveled up. Let's go ahead and get uh. Shield of Thorns is actually really good. Yeah, I mean, getting the passive arguably is quite, quite strong. I can't declare war on Toddy because he's just, you know, we need to, we need him to declare war. Otherwise, we'll have uh, issues with uh, all kinds of stuff. We'll get this last building so it'll stop t telling me to upgrade things. And, uh... Aha! In our random settlement in the south, let us get some more income. At least our agent had a critical failure. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I didn't know that you could actually shoot the walls of uh, cities. Like, I thought you could kill the towers and gates, but, you know, lesson learned. No, it's good. It's good to know that. So, yeah, guys, we'll go for another 20 minutes or so. We'll get, we'll, we'll send, we'll send over Carl, the Emperor's Wrath. If Toddy declares war. Uh, Nordland will probably betray me eventually, yeah. And then we'll just, we'll do a big sweep north and... God, I hate siege battles so much. They're so terrible. Ugh. Yeah, it's 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 just yes, exactly. We showed how not to do siege battles. I just assumed that I would just roll over them. All right, military access. That's fine, fellow dwarf brother. You may have access. 
Because, yeah, I could have just shot the walls, right? And then just marched all my flagellants in. I just didn't even know you could do that. It's weird. I just, like, never do siege battles. I'll always try my best to auto-resolve those bad boys. Years of Academy training wasted. Burn Sartosa and send looted. <laughs> you want me to go after Sartosa? Yeah, I could have just sat and shot too, but that's not the Crusade way, you know? I feel like just going in is, is more fun. With Volkmar's army. It's the final countdown. Back to the Imperial turn. One second, guys. Yeah, the campaign's so good, I agree. The one, Honestly, siege battles were one of the biggest deterrents for me back in the day. I was just kind of always like bored of them. Like, and it, it, it does devolve into that. The Skaven are attacking. I almost want to just let them have it, but... <laughs> We'll uh, we'll just we'll just go that way. They they can grow in might and come back. This is one of those annoying southern settlements we have, that like just uh, oh all right so send a military force which is fine we'll do that. Just battle winnable. I almost want to auto resolve it but yeah we'll do that we'll fight it it's fine. Here we go, time to rescue one of our uh, elector homies. I know that's that's really good, Zeranos. It's true. He he's I maybe we'll be able to recruit him someday. I don't know. The Greybeard's prospectors are uh, joined with the Lizardmen who declared war on one of my allies, and I just kind of got pulled into it. Rutzel Ludenhauer. Sartos has really useful landmarks, which give you some of the more rare resources. Oh, all right. Interesting. The cornerstone of the Skaven military, less numerous but better trained than the slave class, the great clan rat. What is this? Oh, they have rattling gunners in this army. This is a this is not a slouch army. These battles can actually be pretty cool too. These little reinforcement ones, but the problem is the AI like just is stupid, so you just like get wrecked in that way. All right, so at least we started off in a decent flanking position, so we can just head over here. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll just kind of move our forces here for now. Put these guys in group two, because they're going to go hide in the forest and then flank. Hopefully the AI will join me. Ready for war. So let's get my hero, and then you guys. Alright AI, you want to you wanna not run? You want to just, you want to fight together perhaps? For the first time? So yeah, we just basically have to get into the Rattling Gunners and company, so we'll just be lurking in the trees for now. Oh my god, the AI is just like running into the trees. Come on, fight, fight, fight them, fight them. Come on, let's go. Now the Empire Knights can go. It looks like the AI is committing to the fight, which is good. Oh, I actually have the Grand Hammer of Sigmar. That's pretty cool. So let's get these guys going in. Let's get the uh, Warrior Priest going in there. And the Hand Gunners need to shoot at the Rattling Gunners, wherever the hell they are. Where are the Rattling Gunners at? Oh, oh well. So over here, we're just going to like kind of mess with the AI a little bit. If they want to turn and face this Empire Knight, perhaps, then they're going to get crumped in the frontline engagement. And it looks like there's going to be some Storm Vermin coming around. That's actually a pretty good target. So those are Night Runner Slingers. We need to collapse back here. We can send one group of Empire Knights after them. Yeah, there's the Rattling Gunners up on the high ground here. So let's pop the Grand Hammer of Sigmar. We need to get into those guys like ASAP. We won't have a chance of winning. Because the AI is going to just make dumb decisions and just Shrek us. All right, perfect. So we're into those guys, which is awesome. The Warfire te team's really, really important to take out, and then we need to get the Rattling Guns as well. Okay, perfect. So we can actually shoot the Hand Gunners up there because they decided to rear charge us instead of uh, instead of going in. So yeah, those guys are almost offline, which is great. The Rattling Gun last samurai hurts, but thankfully the AI obstructed itself. Come on, come on, push, push, push. We're suppressed. We got the charge. That should be enough to probably get us in a good dominant position here. So let's move the Hand Gunners back here now. Warp fire teams are offline. Yeah, that's that's the big thing. We 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 just need to because we should be able to grind out a lot of this army or cycle charge it to oblivion. Although the AI did throw away its lord, which is unfortunate. They shattered. Oh, we just wiped them to a T. All right, so let's just do this, and then we can do a big hammering charge into the back of these guys. Because Skaven have pretty bad leadership, so if you can just break them like this, it's going to be good. Boom! See that? Look at that. Beautiful Sigmarite charge. Shoot into these guys, and then we'll just pull back and do the same thing. Our other Empire Knights should be able to just chase down the uh, the annoying rats in the shadows here. 
Let's go ahead and slam in, slam in here. Warrior Priest is over chasing, which is a mistake, but it's okay. The rear charge coming in. And we'll just kind of sit there for a minute because I think it should be okay. Yeah, man, we're taking... Night Runner Slinger is actually doing pretty good against us. Yeah, we need to we need to get the Lord, though. Perfect. So our, uh, our guy will pop the hammer. It's hammer time. Bubba's Big Blast. Best way to skill Kaven is with <laughs> Kaven with Arsenic. This is canon. Oh, well then. The Empire Knights over there have fallen to the uh, the Faust Kaven. So let's just use these guys to ride down the scraps up in the hills, and the clan rats and things like that. We definitely want to kill the Warlord though, because Skaven Warlord's like, yeah, pretty... Affects our leadership quite substantially. It's the final countdown. Those are clan rats with spears. Hopefully you guys don't mind a little bit of fast forwarding here. It's just like, it's just... It's kind of redundant to, to do it slow. All right, so we're grinding it out. Cool. And battle. That'll help our fealty there, which I'm quite happy about. Mr. Ludenhauer just being an absolute pimp with his crown of crown of metal thorns there. Scalpake. Man, hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the DLC as well. Have you guys been enjoying the, uh, like, of all the campaigns, what would you guys say is your favorite of all the new ones? So we have Nakai, we have Gorok, we have uh, the New Empire campaign, obviously. A couple different ones. What have you guys found to be your favorite? I'd be quite curious to see what you guys really enjoy. I, I personally think this is the best of all of them. I've dabbled in all of them. I've gotten a little bit deep into Marcus, but... Yeah, that's just my two cents. All right, cool. Let's do that. Pretty much dealt with. Rebellions and all those annoying southern territories that we don't care about. All right, so... Wolfric. Wolfric here. Is his name Wolfric? Oh, it kind of is. I guess we have all the nice agreements we could possibly want there. Carl, I, I hope I get the auto resolve option because I really don't want to fight this. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, they, they have they have some stacks. I don't care about March Dance. Like if they fight me in the open, they're gonna die. All right. So anything we want to upgrade here? Not really. Everything's going to code, except for Volkmar. Of course, he's not going to code. He had a bad time. Volkmar had a very bad time. I'll heart. We could just go there, actually. Yeah, see that? We can recruit. So we'll start recruiting this army back. Um, yeah, we'll do it next turn. It's fine. Any RRs we want. Tatter Souls can be in this army because obviously Volkmar will be in this, uh, this force. And yeah. The Witch Hunter. We can put the Witch Hunter in Volkmar's army. That's that's pretty thematic. And Spartacus is here, so just basically waiting for these guys to declare war. Negative 129. Like, I don't know what more it takes for the AI to want to declare war. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Let us upgrade these ridiculous corner, these border border post bases. All right. Uh, now Spartacus. Oh yeah, Bal I forgot about Balthazar Gel. We're we're working on him too. So he's got he's got that going. We'll get some Demogriff Knights, I suppose. He'll be the first uh, the first to really have these. Get some cannons. Great. So Gel's army is gonna continue to grow here. <laughs> Turin brazenly us underestimates those great Marienburg Patriots, taunting them with comments like, "We'll slaughter them in open field, even in March Dance." <laughs> we'll see. I kind of, I kind of. That would be really funny if they attacked with like a surprisingly big stack. I like the new Wolfheart campaign the best. The blue Vi Oh my god, I hate the blue vipers in my Marcus campaign. <laughs> the AI is waiting for you. They're braced and they're ready. They're coming, guys. They're coming for me. All right. So we'll see what happens here in the last couple turns of our campaign. We've made pretty good progress, so we've certainly consolidated a lot of the Empire, but I, I just wish Toddbringer would declare war already. It's like, because if I declare war on him, then all the other electors are going to piss, be pissed, and all the work I've done to kind of please, you know, please them and make them want to join is going to be for naught. Uh, my southern city? So basically, they're just loose cities at the Balthazar Gelt AI captured before I confederated with him. So it's like, they're just, they're just like, I don't have the province. I, I've been building them up, I suppose, and putting basic buildings, but I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it's not like really worth it. I will hear your petition Why is this guy pissed at us? Oh, okay, well, at least we know there's going to be a Northern Rebellion, but we're ready. I mean, we have uh, Italian Spartacus here. We have uh, 
is all I ever want. Oh, military access. Okay. There's a couple nations that... It's kind of cool because like certain nations are, you know, buddying up with Toddbringer and certain ones are with me. So it's going to be a cool situation. I hope it erupts. <laughs> Carl's coming. Carl's pissed. He heard that Volkmar was smited by these brave Marienburg uh, patriots, as you guys like to call them. So he's going to come and uh, deal with them once and for all. Once and for all. Okay. That's fine. You guys can have that. Please just take it. Thank you. <laughs> just take it. We're done here. All right. So Gelt, Gelt's doing his thing. He's still recruiting. Oh my god, you guys see this? Like. No. Bring me to my men. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. And what do they what do they have here? Is it time? I don't agree with that. Uh, will that still pull him in? If I attack this guy. So Franz, why can we not click on this banner? Okay. Wreckers, the point here, we can upgrade that, which is fine. Actually, we should probably do the black pit. So, See, why can I not click on this guy with Franz? I command here. This action does not have my consent. Ulrich's will. All right, great. So that'll pull the garrison into open field. Yeah, this is perfect. It's perfect. I'm not going to lightning strike because if I lightning strike, then it, it doesn't accomplish my goal. Gotrek's been raiding me. <laughs> He's just been raiding me nonstop, and I, I don't have the heart to go attack him. So it's like, it's like, come on, little guy, you just, you just go ahead and keep raiding. We're all friends here. Yeah. So we're we're basically gonna be smiting Marienburg. The emperor had to come over himself because of my foolhardy uh, Volkmar plays. <laughs> so here we come. You know what my favorite part about watching streams is and stuff is when they when streamers like fail, you know? Like it, it's it's very fun. Alright, so we have the war wagon. Dude, we have the double wagon beatdown squad here. Uh, the mortar can be back here. Wizards can be here. Prawns will be here. Oh actually there's gonna be a, a fat reinforcing army behind us, isn't there? Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's let's start over here then. And the wagons and the other haggardness can just you know, play around in the, this engagement here. Yeah, so we, we should just hammer these guys down. Gamble, because we have terrible wins right now. <laughs> Go after Gocek with the Temple off Luminarch. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Alright. Well, we have a lot of options for this campaign as to, like, what we want to do. So let's go ahead and do this and start battle. Let's go ahead and scoot up here. We'll send those guys here. So basically, this is just going to be the, the Reckoning. I am Gotham's Reckoning! Alright, Franz, what is this guy going? Where's where's that General of the Empire going? Where does he think he's going, huh? So let's go ahead and just start shooting. These guys can get in here. We'll just drop a fat, juicy Pendulums. This is Vengeance for Volkmar. Pull these guys back. Where's the? Where's okay? So we 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 found this guy. Guys, check it out. The the wagon goon squad. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So this army should be crumbling here in a second. Let's just drop an earth blood to mitigate any damage we're going to be taking. Ron should have dealt with that guy. Is he dealt with yet? Okay, he's not. All right. So let's just pull you guys in. Let's go. You pull you guys back here. Pull you guys here. You guys just making sure nobody escapes. <laughs> just, just hammer into there. Well, this is one way to deal with garrisons. Let's drop another pendulum there. Parking conduit. <laughs> that guy in the back's just getting wrecked so hard. All right, let's turn the mortar in. Mortar should be able to grind these guys out. All right, Franz, where are you at? Great. So let's just let's just WWE pile drive into the side, the flank here. Oh, he broke. Okay, that's fine. Actually, you know what? We can we can go in there with these guys and then get the knights going in here. Franz should be able to help there. Helm of Discord. Life Wizard can chase and just use all his items because why not? Marienburg only wanted peace. There will be no peace. Not after that. Not after that siege battle I was forced to endure. Not, never again. All right. So. All I ask is that I get an easy auto resolve here. Is there anything left on the battlefield? I guess there's a couple troops here. Whatever, we don't need it. Hey, 
Carl farts. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right, so those armies have been dealt with. I'll check what the auto resolve in the city is now. I mean, we took we might lose like a great sword or something, which would be okay. To the auto resolve. God, I, yeah, siege battles just suck so bad. God. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, that that freaking Boris von Gandalf got 316 kills. Absolute lunacy. Uh, we'll uh, take on captives because you know we're we're not ruthless here. What is this army? That's just the warrior priest, right? Come on, please! Oh my god, it's gonna make me fight it. Even if I lightning strike it, it's still like. <sighs> Actually, hold on. Let's break siege for a second. So can Franz we reach this warrior priest? No, he can't. No peace, just war. You know what? It's fine. Let's just do this. And... Please make Volkmar Elector Count of Marienburg. <laughs> Volk Volkmar the Grim in all his bitterness. He just wants Marienburg. All right, Emil von Corden. It's round two, baby. <laughs> you see, you guys love the suffering. It's, it's way more enjoyable than... Positivity and, and, and happiness, right? All right? Well, this time we will be climbing the gates. What do we have in terms of artillery? We have the Temple of Luminarch. Carl's just going to go swiggity sweetie on those walls, too. Four, uh, two, and then five. Gandalf is always Gandalf's a beast. They are, now it's my turn. Right. So let us advance on this beleaguered force here. The mortars can shoot up the walls. Carl, those are handgunners, so we want to come in at a side angle just to avoid that. All right, we got our cav units. I mean, it's fine. Do we? It's like a PS2 game. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I forgot Boris is. Boris is on his mount too, so he can he can do some work. So we'll have two great swords punch the main gate, and then these ones will climb the walls. Walls, walls. Just like we should have done the last time. Just letting the AI get a ton of free damage on our goods. And yeah, we'll just wait till they blob up a little bit. Franz will come in at an angle now. It's the final Franz down. Dun -dun -dun -dun. You know what? We don't even need Franz here. We're gonna send him in the back to just goon the enemy leadership. Hand gunners can start shooting at the walls as well. We'll just put them on uh, fire at will here. The glorious wagons of doom fire. We can actually use some spells on the wall too. Franz, Franz has something to say to this guy. He's like, oh, oh no, baby, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right, Franz is coming in with the steel chair. And let's get our wizard. Let's get him safely behind the walls. We can use a pit of shades up here, which will be fun. All right, has Franz gotten this guy yet? Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's one way to deal with things. Let's get our cast or wizard back here. Actually, he should probably be hanging nearby. That pit of shades on the walls hurts, and the gates are open. So now we can charge in because we have great swords, and great swords are actually quite good at this situation. And uh, plus, we have AOE to support them as well. So let's go ahead and pop a heal here, which is going to be fine. Franz is just like, Franz is just roaring with rage in the back, just ah. <laughs> You will pay! You will pay for your transgressions! Alright, so great swords are piling in. The walls are ours. The great swords have climbed. Just leave, like leaving the cab in the back is probably just smarter. Alright, can we just can we just get this can this battle just be over, please? Can you guys just stop? Like why are you what's still even here? And, uh, here we have a overcasted heal, which should keep the boys going. Power of life. Ah! These guys are chasing them. The Sigma! Franz is such a beast. It's like a it's like a redemption arc, you know. Let's see. Let's see if the AI will run into this. I'm actually kind of curious. 
Okay, looks like they will. Which is good. Great Swords are just about through. Von Gandalf will get back up in the sky. Carl will continue to trundle. Von Gandalf can go over here. These Great Swords are just literally just chasing into the Shadow Realm. These guys are broken off. Let's pull in. Now we can pull in the cab. <laughs> Call the Reichsguard! Call the fire department. This one's out of control. Where's, where's our flyer? Oh, he, can, he can just hang out in the middle here. Cool. Let's get you guys going here. You guys collapsing here. Here is fine. Franz, you just keep doing you, man. Blob fight! Hopefully we just tear out these guys off. We'll let Franz fight here for a second. I'm pretty tight on Winds of Magic. But we'll just keep healing up the great swords. Let's get the wagons of doom in here too. I basically just been leaving them back there, but handgunners can perch themselves in the walls here to be helpful. Franz is, you know, he's 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 getting uh, getting a little little spear action, which isn't fun for him. Now the cavalry here, so the cavalry have arrived. Should be able to just hammer things down. There we go. Okay. Well, that was much better. What, you see, like, that's it's just the difference of. I mean, this army's a lot better, but climbing the walls is like. is so much better. <laughs> Gelt rushed in and got crumped, and Carl cleans up his mess. Or Volkmar. <laughs> Carl's like. Carl put. Carl just like. There was no messing about. He just like charged in on his, his freaking Griffin and, and Deathclaw and just karate chopped the enemy lord. In, like the first 10 seconds of the battle. Hey, Garland Green, thank you for the 200 SEK. Likes for the God of Thumbs. Garland, stick around for another 10 minutes because I'm going to show the clock that Anna made on stream for you. The one the, that you got. I haven't tried out the new Pegasus Knights, no. Uh, now we're just going to occupy it. Be gone. <laughs> Be gone, wench. Can we, like... Is that possible to reach you? No, it's not. Okay. The well, I just screwed up there, but it's okay by going outside the city. All right, Franz is going to get some Honest Steel to buff up his Swords of Greatness. Marienburg, I think that's all they have left is that, like, Haggard Lord. All right, so let's go ahead and check in on our secondary armies. Spartacus's army is pretty much good to go. I mean, we could recruit some demis and things like that. Um, this army now can... We'll, we'll, we'll re recycle the, the Haggard Flagellant Legion. Uh, we have our uh, Balthazar Gelt army in the south getting some demogriff knights and cannons and all that good stuff so we can just uh you know what let's get some freaking hellstorms too and while we're at it and we'll get some some handgunners as well oh the huntsman might be pretty good you know I, honestly huntsman might be better in some situations than handgunners but should be fine and from here we can like fill him out on rors and things like that he can have his uh his guard in the Knights of Moor. Okay, we'll give him a spear guard. Hey, take care, Bubba's Big Blast. Thanks again for all your support, man. Which hunter is going to be joining this uh, this beleaguered army here? I think Volkmar the Grim is still out of commission. Yeah, well, we'll see. We will see. So Carl secured this. <laughs> Marienburg is just like, nah, man, we're not we're not going to declare war on you. We're not going to give you that pleasure. Not Marienburg, uh, Toddy. Get life bloom is fine. We have some upgrades we could do in our provinces. Get a gatehouse here. We'll pass turn. Hunts yeah, Huntsman might be better than handgunners, arguably. Marienburg General exists, Carl Franz, I'm gonna end this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. God, we, we're just we're literally getting raided by Gotrek. <laughs> He's been raiding our territory for like half an hour. So now we have a couple good stacks. We'll we'll have four full stacks, like with pretty much you know, tiered up units in it. Obviously, Carl Franz, we're gonna want to get some Demogriff Knights eventually. All right, what treason comes next? Come on, please declare war. If he doesn't declare war, I could always just go and deal with Bretonia at this point. 
It's like the the northern elector counts are getting a little bit unruly, and I really don't want to go to war with uh with these guys here. Because like confederating them would be so much easier than having to deal with annoying stacks. Yeah, line of sight on gunners definitely sucks. And multiplayer hand gunners are really good. Campaign they're really good too, but just not they're just terrible in siege battles. Like terrible. Like in siege battles, huntsmen and crossbowmen can just shoot over the walls like happily. Carl will destroy Gotrek in 1v1 in this. And lore Gotrek would probably beat Carl's butt pretty good, but because he probably is like low level with like no items. There he is. Vampire Coast versus Lizards. It's kind of a hard matchup, actually, I think. I think Vampire Coast nerfs have really hit hard, but generally, I mean, having a couple a gun line, two depth guard, a bunch of halberds, like that can do pretty good for you. Luther Harkin's really good in that matchup because you could just like snipe the characters and all that. What, you guys are declaring war on me now? Oh, they want a non-aggression pact. No, there's no point. You guys don't even you guys don't even leave your tree. Oh my god, the Skaven can't even like capture this. Like I've just been waiting, like, yes, yeah, Skaven, you can have this. Aha! So Wiseland here. Uh sure, let's do it. Well negative three will put me down in the pits, but let's just do it. Yeah, that was that's pretty good though, because Wiseland is uh yeah, so now we get the oh guys, it's time. We get the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank, and who better to have that than the Fronds? Can he recruit this up here? This unit will be unlocked once you have the appointed... Okay, so I just have an appointed Elector account. So, who are our candidates here? We'll just put the, the, this guy for now. Guys, the Emperor's Wrath meme tank comes. So we can probably t tune down our uh, handgunner core a little bit. Actually, Knights of the Blazing Sun. We're, we're, we're a little bit overkill on Cav. It comes. The Emperor's Wrath steam tank is here. Oh, guys. Hey, take care, our, bot our Baton. So we have the Emperor's Wrath steam tank now, which is awesome. Smite this freaking Shadow Realm, that guy. How did he not get wiped out? Raise your weapons. Okay. Marienburg has been destroyed <laughs> once and for all. <laughs> Alright. So Franz is, uh... He's doing okay. Marienburg's been destroyed. Yeah, that economy. Well, it's because it's because this AI probably has a ton of armies. Oh, okay. So let's see what he's got. He's got this army here, which is completely useless. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. You served your your nation well, but now we must uh, we gotta. So this is gonna be the uh, the Volkmar the Grim army. To the ah, I see. You guys were trundling up in the hills, truffling for snacks. It's pretty annoying. We have to actually I move you. Level six warrior priest. You know he might be decent. He's got replenished troops and Hammer of Sigmar. Let's go put him in Folkmar's army. I, I don't mind keeping him. Alright, so we're coming back into the positive here. I think there's still another one. Wolfric. Well, alright. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Back to normal. Alright, so the Imperial Academy. Ooh, research rank uh, for artillery. We do not need the Demogriff Knight tech per se. Nuln has like all the all the appropriate buildings though. For lore, that's for sure. Don't need that. Taproom's fine. We can keep this uh this iron smelter. I mean not having a wall here is kind of unfortunate, but it's it's not a big deal actually. Minus three, the electors won't go ape. They go ape when you get like lower, like down here. Yeah. Because, I mean, what's left? These guys... Because what's going to happen is, these guys are going to... Um, once we get one more fail to you with uh, Flensburg here... Let's see, is there anything... High relations? Oh, okay, so... Once we get them, like, we have, like, the entire south, basically. So we could just, like... At that point, we can just pretty much deal with the rest of them as needed. Uh, we don't need an Empire Captain. We don't need another witch hunter with his fedora. What 
we'll keep the warrior priest because he's could be useful. All right, so Nuln. Those those are pretty much all up to code. Okay, so what? Stone cutter here is, gives us a little bit of economy. Blacksmith is fine. I mean, there's honestly not that much. I mean, Nuln just needs some walls. Is is really it? So we'll cut. The Night Watch, because you know, it just helps us with this Skaven. We'll keep the Imperial Academy. We'll keep the, the Powder. The Meme Tank one is fine. The roads, roads are somewhat useful, I guess, but... It does give us growth as well. Yeah, so we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this, because we obviously don't need growth. Because we're pretty good. Alright, so that'll be fine for now. Uh, Spartacus is here. This army will have Volkmar the Grim, and I think he'll be back soon. Let's see how long till he's back. One turn. Okay. So Franz has taken this settlement, and I think we actually got a level up for like just smashing that one character, which is pretty funny. Get the Honest Steel to make our great sword super super juicy. Boris von Gandalf, he's almost immortal, which is going to be nice. Uh, we can get Enfeebling Quill. That's fine. That'll help for us, like Shagus and things like that in the late game. Yeah, I don't need growth there. There's actually probably a lot of settlements I don't need growth in that I should go back and, and check out. The Black Pit. Oh, cool. So we're all leveled up here, so we can actually uh, develop some nice, juicy infrastructure. So let's get the final tier of walls. We have the uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun Clubhouse, where the boys can go hang out. Is there anything here we really need? Because eventually we're just going to go to Reichsguard tech. We could get Warrior Priest tech. We could just let us pave some more roads so we can move faster through these regions. Castle Drakenhof, we can upgrade the uh, that and that, which is nice. <laughs> the big black pit. Oh my god. So yeah, now comes a, it's quite a curious question at this point in the campaign. We're uniting the Empire one way or the other. Yeah, that's 100% that's true. So, okay. So, guys, if we take a big overlook here, it's basically these trolls in the north. Like, none of them like me. Although, these guys kind of do. Chaos Corruption is finding its way here, but we're negative three now. So, once we confederate again, it'll be, yeah, we'll be fading. But at that point, like, we could just go to war and, like, clean up the rest. But I don't want to do that until these guys confederate because this is, like, a huge central province. Everyone else will be swept up very quickly by, uh, you know, honestly, they just have like full stacks of swordsmen and for the most part. Volkmar will take over this army again, so let's go ahead and see what we need to recruit here. Actually, we're probably fine. And uh, I'm actually going to get some huntsmen with this army. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that next turn. Spartacus's stack is ready to party. Geld's stack will be ready soon. Franz is good. Volkmar is good. So that'll be four full stacks that can easily probably sweep multiple territories. There's no rush to really take out the Bretonians. We can save them for later. Their their power is like only getting worse. They're getting like taken out. So we could honestly just let someone else beat up Bretonia. Um, so good. We have the Rune Fang Pact. Um, we'll do yeah, income from trades. Fine. We'll just do that. Actually, no. We should probably get some of these missile upgrades. Yeah, reload time is pretty good. Actually, let's get the cavalry. Yeah, cavalry upgrades. It's a little bit overdue. Um, here in this region, we're pretty much growthed out, so public order isn't an issue. Let's go for tax rates, fine. Okay, so it's fast turn. We'll do one or two more turns, guys. Before the patch, Hawkland were basically known as Cornate Berserkers. <laughs> and now they've calmed down a little bit. Yeah, well, that's good to know. I mean... We just need like an event to help us get fealty. We're probably not going to be able to take Solon, or not Solon, but uh, what are these guys called? The ones with the sun? I always forget. I'm not as much of a lore guy as others, but local militia. Yeah, let me take a look at that. I, I probably have just skimmed over it. I think local militia was one that helps just the. Uh... Does that help with your garrisons? Yeah, followers. There's lots of things to do now at this point. There's like some crazy guy with a mullet next door just mowing his lawn all angrily like, Argh! 
Cranescans, we're at war with them, but the dwarves are the dwarves should be crumping them. We've almost had the whole empire. The empire endures. Aberland, yeah. Got it. They're kind of they're kind of like loyal to us. Not like super deep in the loyalty game, but they do their thing. Probably I feel like I'm a little bit like idle. I should be like moving around more with my armies, but I'll probably start doing that. The next episode will be more aggressive for sure. This one's been more of an expansion kind of episode here. I could go take I really do want to get that tree there. That'll probably be something we do. Because I don't know when Chaos is going to come. I mean, shouldn't they be, like, getting a little bit crumped now? And, if, yeah, if there's any mods in here, if you guys could actually drop a Discord link, that would be helpful. If not, I'll do it at the end of the stream. <laughs> Finally, the Skaven, they can have that city. There you go, buddies. Like, I have these, like, southern provinces that it just, like, I've been trying to get rid of here. Oh! 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 Perfect timing! Rising in the northern wastes. Okay. We get it. The chaos invasion comes. Oh my god, look at these stacks farming. <laughs> Guys, the Empire is not united. Not yet. Chaos comes. Uh that's fine. Yeah, we'll take that Imperial Authority. That's cool. So Volkmar the Grim is ready. Huntsman General. Um, let's see here, so. The Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank is going to be great. So, Toddy, you need to, like... Dude, you need to come to heal, man. Because we're about to have some serious issues here with the Warriors of Chaos coming. Alright, so... Gelt's army is just about ready. His his glorious meme legion. Let's actually get some Huntsmen. I kind of want to try them out. Weisenberg here, so we can get some new buildings. So, let's get this. And let's get with you. We already have the landmark. Let's get some roads, it's fine. Don't really need the growth. Gates and uh, gates. <laughs> gates everywhere! Yes, local militia. So I'm local militia. Recruit rank for, oh, for infantry units. Oh man, you're right. I thought that was just something like not good. Yeah, so I should have gotten this a long time ago, guys. And if you are playing the campaign, you should get it early. Don't do what I did. But learn from my mistakes. Um, so let's go ahead and give him some silver bullets, which is fine. Where next? So the select unit may not be disbanded, so so we have to move these guys from the army. Me. Onwards. Don't want to Always disband ahead. you. Now, if I want to replace the Lord with this army. Okay, so Carl Franz has done his work. I think Carl Carl knows what must be done now. He's got to head, he's got to head over here and get ready for chaos. So we're going to have Franz head over there to intercept chaos head on. Yes, we will trespass all the way through these territories. We care not. There's not really any threats from the south. Volkmar the Grim. <laughs> Turn rebuilds roads he destroys. Yes, that's true. And, you know, and honestly, though, as the campaign goes on, it does get a little bit, you know, tedious to keep track of all that. Oh, perfect. So, Castle Jackin off and level up. Gelt's army will be marshaled soon and we uh, will be ready for war. The warrior priests can uh, join. A lot of the warrior priests actually go to Gelt. Click the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Scout leader. Sorry, it's been a while, guys. Swap him in detail screen. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. It's kind of a place lord. We'll get Volkmar the Grim. The Grand Mustache Master is back. And he can... Uh... Mustache the Grim. I would like to get a couple great swords just so I have some punch in his army. The Death Jacks. I mean, I guess we can... We have artillery, which is fine. Let's get some archers. Some huntsmen will be fine. Although, oh no, the meme tank. He's going to be down here marshalling for some time anyways. <laughs> Volkmar can go full on meme. Let's 
get some of those guys, which is fine. So Volkmar's army should be a lot better this time around. We're going to get two glorious meme tanks for it. Spartacus here. I have to, like, be wary, though, because if, like, Toddy declares war, I need someone to help out. So what we'll probably do is leave Spartacus here, and we'll send... We'll send, uh... Balthazar Gelt and, uh... Homeboy to the north to fight Chaos. Alright, guys. One or two more turns here. I really should stop. <laughs> a live stream? Well, no, we're, we're you know, we're the boys. We're, we're the uh, Empire here. We're trying to, but Chaos just invaded, so... Halberds, yeah, but I, I should have enough, like, powder weaponry to really, like, pound out those bigger threats. Y who needs anti-large when you have a meme tank, guys? But yeah, we'll, we'll recruit some other stuff. I don't know. We'll take a look. This will be this will be the last turn here, though, guys. Don't let me go anymore. Don't let me do it. My hands will regret it. But I'm having so much fun. Damn you, health issues. Aranessa Assault Spite is trespassing. What? Oh, oh, it's probably like down south. This is the last turn. No more after this. The Crusade must... Yeah, the Crusade probably does need some anti-large. As a matter of fact, we might go recruit some Demogriff Knights. I think Demogriff Knights is, are just super good, so... Middenheim is, is not... They're not... They just won't help. Chaos is coming too. Kislev's about to start getting ravaged. So we gotta... We gotta get Franz over there to stem the tide of uh, corruption. And honestly, like, from there, we're not too far away from beating the campaign, I don't think. Because, like... For the short campaign, because basically we just, we squash Chaos, who's coming from the north. We should be able to, you know, corral them up there. Corn loves your pain and suffering, I'm sure, I'm sure he does. Poor Kislev up there. Yeah, you can see Chaos is going to be pretty nasty here soon. Yeah, like cheesing siege battles, somebody was asking earlier, like our crossbowmen and huntsmen are really good at that. Musion, Crooked Moon. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 There's no more just one more turn after this. This is it. Everyone's like, peace! Chaos is coming! The war herd of chaos. Ugh. Ugh, chaos. And then I'll, I have to show you guys the clock, too. The glorious creation of uh, Lady Turin. You guys will see that next turn. Alright, the Puppets of Chaos. Can you guys just pass to me? Just give me the turn. You're not doing anything anyways. God, Gotrek, stop raiding me. Spartacus here. He's got plenty of anti-large. Knights of the Blazing Sun will be pretty good against infantry and stuff. So it's kind of... Alright, so Volkmar can be the defender here. You guys are correct. He doesn't really have much bonus for his large. I mean, I have two cannons, arguably. So we can get some... Uh, Yeah, we'll get some Huntsmen. That'll be fine. So Volkmar can guard against Toadie. Spartacus is going to head this direction. He's going to keep heading up to uh, the Chaos Lands. You don't want to get that Swamp Attrition. Nope. There we go. Okay. How are we doing on Gates? Everything looks pretty good there. We don't need growth here, obviously. Is there anything we want to build? I guess we could just build a... Yeah, we'll just save the money for now. Emperor Karl Franz is just beelining across the lands because let's go ahead and take a look at Chaos's advance. Okay, they haven't gotten out of their rat's nest yet, but they will soon. It'd be nice to head them off before they are able to scatter. So Franz is coming here. Franz and Spartacus are heading up. They have pretty good armies. Although Spartacus might have trouble with like a full chosen stack. So maybe he should recruit a little bit more. Balthazar Gelt's army is uh, coming together quite nicely. He has demis too, which is going to be super useful. And the rest of the army we can get. So we have some artillery pieces. Is there any ROR's we want to recruit for him? Uh, we can get the Caribou Great Swords, which will be nice in one turn. We could get the Knights of Moor for him. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be cool. Give him a little bit of a, a, a terror causing unit. So the Warrior Priest will be embedding in his army here. So let's move Gelt out here so the Warrior Priest can reach him. Warrior Priest will help the frontline fights. And for the last unit... 
Thank you, Wicked, for your help. Much appreciated, man. Let's get one more Huntsman. So Gelt's army will be complete. Spartacus' army is ready to go. Carl's army is ready to go. Volkmar is back in back in business here. He's recruiting. He'll have a relatively well-rounded army, too. So the great chaos war is on. We weren't able to fully unify the Empire before that, unfortunately. So, uh, I mean, I would really like to get these guys like to, to join us before. Because we're going to have to fight small conflicts amongst each other. Damn. I mean, yeah, I guess we're okay. It's mainly going to be Toddy who's who's giving us problems because we we literally antagonize Toddy to try and get him to attack us, but he won't. He's like, nah, man, it ain't happening. And the Chaos Invasion has begun, so they're now up north now, so they're going to be coming in. So as far as our victory conditions go, we're doing okay. We have, you know, several of the provinces. The other ones will come in very quickly. Um, Sylvania will come be ours once we confederate, and then we obviously just have to get these places. The Chaos Invasion's here, so... Um, yeah, Warriors of Chaos, Archeon. It's just the, it's like the Warherd of Chaos or something. Yeah, anyways. So let's go ahead and save it. Save it up. We're on turn 83. We've made some progress. We had some really funny failures this episode, which I think will make it much more fun for people to watch back. Um, let's load, make sure we it's all saved correctly. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. We'll continue this on uh, Wednesday. We're sallying north to Chaos because Chaos is here now. I don't know if it's the main Chaos Invasion. I think it's like the, the, the Bray Herd or something. But anyways, we have Elector Counts, Italian Spartacus, and uh, the Emperor Karl Franz, of course, going up with the Emperor's Wrath Steam Tank. So we're going to be doing that. Sparty's army is pretty good. We might want to get some stuff that can actually fight Chaos Knights. So here we might, you know, stop for a second and recruit. Um, before we go up, like get some Demis, like replace Knights of the Bleeding Sun and Demogriff Knights. That could be really strong. Uh, we're going to keep Volkmar the Grim, like near Altdorf, just in case Middenland decides to get... or. Uh, yeah, these guys. Midland starts to get a little bit crunk. Because he should be able to, with a couple steam tanks, hopefully deal with them. And uh, then our last army, Balthazar Gelt, is marshalling in the south. He's almost ready. He is kind of a warden of the south. But again, we have the dwarves buffering us. We don't really need to worry about too many threats. And if we have to, we can recruit an army on the go. We'll have so many ROR's that we should be able to get them in a snap of our fingers. So Balthazar Gelt will head up and shore up the east. So he's going to push up right up here here and here. So we're going to have like a three-pronged attack coming in. Franz here, a Spartacus here, and Gelt here. And we're going to sweep up the north and hopefully be able to fend them off while leaving Volkmar the Grim back home to deal with uh, the threats of uh, our disloyal friends here. So guys, thank you so much for joining. It was a really fun, ridiculous campaign filled with failures and successes and, and tears and joy and all kinds of good things. Uh, but Todd, Todd needs to be dealt with. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. Special thanks to... Oh, wait, hold on. Hang, hang tight. I gotta show you guys that glorious clock. So let me prepare my room. I'm showing the clock. I just I just saw the clock. I have to I have to prepare. Ugh. Sorry, I was streaming in my boxers, so I kind of had to get things together. The light. Let me turn the. Oh, I actually have this light I can use. Hold on, guys. Oh. Perfect. So. Let us go ahead here and add in a video capture device. Aha! It is I! Perfect. Okay, big turn right now. All right, so check it out. So for anyone, let me make sure I'm not holding it upside down, who is a Lizardman fan or a fan of you know things in general, check it out. So Anna made this clock by hand. She built this thing. This is a Lizardman clock. So you can see all the, uh, the you know, the times. Everything is like in Lizardman kind of a iconography. And uh, it's, it's, it, it is a working clock. It is functional. It is awesome. I'm just going to hold it. Yes. <laughs> I just put on a shirt. I'm still, I'm still just rocking the boxers. I'm trying my best to hold it, but I can't see the camera because it's like right in front of my face. Check it out. Lizardman clock. The old ones shall be pleased. So Anna makes things like this. For, for anyone who's interested, uh, if you just go to the community section of our channel and you'll see her uh, contact email is there in those posts. And uh, if you guys want anything like this, she can make it. Anything you want. Yes. She is a wizard. She is the best wife. That's for sure. So, uh, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. 
I'll Vanna White it one last time. Ooh, look at that. That's nice, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think that's enough of my ugly mug for one day. And uh, yeah, guys. That's going to be it. So the next episode will be uh, this next Wednesday. Tune in. And again, if you guys are interested in getting commissions, whether it be journals, clocks, boxes, you name it, uh, Anna can do all that. So just head on over to the uh, to the community section if you're interested. Yes. It's going to be great. All right, guys. Wednesday, we continue the Great War Against Chaos and probably Bretonia. And just there's just going to be battles everywhere. So uh, it's, it should be quite a bit of fun. So, guys, thank you so much. You guys rock. It was a fun campaign. And we'll see you guys on the other side. And again, special thanks to everyone who donated. And we have a couple new members, all kinds of good stuff going on. So I won't bore you guys anymore. So thanks again, guys, for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Take care.